Hello there, friends. How are you? It is a live, not on Friday, but on Thursday, as we wrap up our 2023 crafting um, season, sessions, year. <laughs> Very excited to be here tonight. Uh, we'll see how many friends that we have joining us, see what my connection is like, because uh, it has been a little bit crazy lately. But hello, Shelly. Hi, Mary. You're my favorite, too. I'm glad that you're here. Good morning, Nicole. Hello, Helen. Hi, Marnie. Uh, hello, friends. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Um, very excited to be here. Hi, Nat. How are you? Shannon. Catherine, how are you? Vicki, uh, Victoria, good to see you. Hi, guys. Excited for tonight. I've done all the prep. I am ready to roll. Um, I did all those um, gel plates in our last live session and then came back and was cutting them and everything. I'm like, I, I don't want to cover these with stuff. I really like them. So I'm just going to keep it as like an inspiration book. And then uh, went back and did sat down and did gel plating one day, all day, just enjoyed it, enjoyed the process and made a whole bunch more. So Merry Christmas to all my friends. I totally am wearing my um, Christmas sweater and my Santa earrings for you guys tonight. Hello, Jessica. First time catching you live. I love it. Happy to have you here. Hi, Poppy. How are you? So many friends. So I, fi I figure it'll be quiet night. But uh, I feel like you could roll through and do this. And it does, if you don't celebrate the holidays or maybe, you know, the ha holidays aren't a happy time for you, you could uh, take all of what I'm doing, change your color palette, match it to another collection that you love and do all of this. It does not have to be Christmas themed, right? It could be whatever, Hanukkah. It could be um, a vacation flip book. It could just be... Uh, 12 or 10 of my favorite things or my favorite photos from the year, whatever you want it to be. This is just, I have to have a drink. I got a cough. Sorry, friends. <coughs> That's a great way to kick it off, right? Um, whatever you want this to be. Like it does not have to be holiday. Uh, the gel plate can really be anything that you want it to be. So I know for some of my friends out there, uh, Christmas is not uh, as happy a time or is uh, can be a sad time depending on what happened this year or just what's going on in your life right now. So just know that I want this to be inclusive so you don't have to do Christmas. You could really take anything that I'm doing and um, just switch out your embellishments, switch out your papers and your color theme, and you could make this whatever you want it to be. Uh, I'm in love with your sweater. Thank you. Do you like my my um, little furry? Do you see their little furry Santas? Got a little beard. And then my earrings. So I pull this out every year now. Recovered from Adelaide yet. Hi, Kim. How are you? Uh, getting there. That seriously is, that was no small feat. And that's no joke. Traveling for six weeks, nine flights. Um, how many hotels I stayed in, two cruises. Hundreds of people, really that I got to meet, which was amazing. Uh, I loved it, but I just put a Christmas tree up yesterday, just so you guys know. So if anybody is like, this is like, I feel like um, it is like a compressed, quick holiday. I My biggest thing is just want to enjoy, I'm going to be in the moment and enjoy our family. So I don't know, how's that, how's it all working for you guys? Like, I feel like, um, I'm just going to be in the moment and enjoying the things. I'm going to cook some good food, but it's going to, like we do Christmas Eve and I'm doing Christmas Day here, uh, small. But I just took the turkey and put it in the, the freezer because it is frozen. But I'm doing like meatballs and lasagna on Christmas Eve and some dips and uh, sangria. And we're, I know weird sangria with Italian, but uh, the family all like it. I don't care. I just like the dips cheese and crackers. I don't care about food. I would rather just meet with the family and then I'm making the full on turkey dinner on Christmas day. So it, and then, you know, we're going on vacation. I'm going to fly again. So it'll be good. Uh, does Xmas lights count? It 100% counts, Mary. If that's what you got, uh, my friend Valerie said she put trees up just with the light. She just wanted to turn the lights on. She didn't decorate them. And I'm like, totally works for me. So I did get a little tree. We have a kitten. So 
he's into everything. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be kind of, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing this year. It's, it's all pretty tamed, right? My dad's 80th birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, dad. Happy 80th. That is uh, very exciting. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening around here. I still have presents to wrap it. Like I said, being away and not getting home till the beginning of December and then had uh, like hundreds of kits were shipped out for Discover and Create it was crazy town, right? Crazy town. We're catering our dinner. That's a, it's the gift that keeps on giving. I think that's a great idea, Nat. I'm going to try to enjoy the process. Like just enjoy the like process of getting the turkey ready, making the stuffing. I'm going to put music on. Um, have a cocktail and just do the things. I'm going to make the kids come and help and be around. I just, I think that is my biggest thing is um, I just want to enjoy the day. And it's my brother's birthday today too. He, It's happy birthday to my brother, Jamie. It's his birthday today. It's, it's somebody's dad. It was somebody, I forgot who it was. Dad's birthday. You have five trees up and normally, right? I do all those things. It's just uh, getting it done like a week before the holidays. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing it this year because I'm not going to be here to enjoy it because then we take off, right? We're catering part of our dinner as well. The barbecue meats. That is fun, right? Hi, Anna. How are you? Um, and then hi, Karen. Karen D is here. She uh, takes care of little ones. So it has been crazy time. So Hello to all my teachers. I see you. For some of you, you have one more day, I think, right? You go right up to, I think, tomorrow. Or maybe you're done. But thank you for all the teachers. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you for all of the healthcare workers and everybody this year. I hope all of you and just my friends out there, I hope really that you have an amazing holiday season. I'm excited. I did. Hello, Irene. Thank you for being here. I see you, my friend. Everybody send lots of love to Irene. Um, I'm happy to have her here. I haven't seen her for a while. I was worried about you, my friend. So thank you for popping on. Um, we know when you're not here, we do notice. So a lot of other friends were messaging me saying that they're out, they're doing things. And I knew that uh, it was supposed to be on Tuesday. This was supposed to be on Tuesday. And then I switched it because I wanted to prep some new background pages and have everything ready. And then give you guys a little bit of a chance if you did want to play along. If you didn't make gel plate backgrounds, it doesn't matter. You could have cardstock, you could stencil them, um, you could do the kissing technique, or you can just use pattern paper, whatever you want to do. But tonight, I am uh, ready to go. I'm going to flip the camera around, and we're going to make this thing. And and I pulled out this one. I don't think this was last year. No, this was, I think, two years ago. This is Warm Wishes, I believe, right? So I have this one out and realize that I used the same die. I must like tag flip book books. So in this one, remember we did the uh, shaker boxes. So I'll share that with you when I turn that around. So tonight's is a different version. It's more of an artsy version, but I feel like um, everything uh, is very kind of toned down and simple this year for me. And I think, right, you do what you can, but to get the time in to be creative, I think, uh, is super awesome. So maybe you're doing a super intricate project. Maybe it's really straightforward and you just pulled out your favorite Christmas collection and you're going to do it or your favorite collection ever. And you're just going to make a tag flip book with me. Uh, you totally do whatever makes you happy. And let's flip the camera and get started. And let me know, uh, guys, if you have any questions before we get started. And I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I prepped. Is that camera a little crooky? Let's see. No. Is that crooked? Let me look. Something doesn't look right there. That's better. And let me flip my uh, light down. Um, I love gel plate printing and that totally is like everything that we do is totally personal preference. You might, it might not be your jam, but um, I decided I'm going to be doing a lot more with it this year because I love it. There's my friend Valerie. We met up last night um, and went for sushi and it was wonderful to see my friend. So hello, friend. Last day of work tomorrow. Good for you, Stephanie. Oh, are you ready for it? Is everybody ready for the holidays as ready as you're going to be if you celebrate? Um, 
like I said, it's whatever it is at this point is what it is. And I'm totally okay with it this year. Sorry. I'm all tangled up. Um, all tangled up. So let's get the light on here. I think we're good now. I'm going to sit down and do the things. No sleepover with Valerie. No, it didn't happen. Natalie, and being the amazing friend that she is, she just kind of made it happen for me. She came and met me in Niagara on the Lake, and we went, I think it's Masaki, it's called. It, if you're in Niagara on the Lake, uh, that is an amazing sushi restaurant, like amazing. And we went and had a little sushi and a little visit, and it was wonderful. Just what the doctor ordered, right? Um, you convinced me to do watercolor, and I loved it so much. It was fun, wasn't it, Jessica, when we did the uh, Christmas wreath? Uh, it's a lot of fun. And I did watercolor using literally Tim Holtz Distress Ink, right? You don't have to have ex super expensive tools. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, sushi spot. So it is good. It was very nice. Um, you're crocheting mini stockings that hold a hand lotion and lip balm for my sister and niece. That's a great idea, Jennifer. I do not know how to crochet. Um, I bought an Xmas, Xmas pres present for my three-year-old niece. I spent my whole pay on crafting dice. Good for you, Nicole, right? If that's what you wanted, that was on your wish list. Good for you. I feel like dies are the gift that keeps on giving, right? You can do so much with them. Dice, stamps, stencils, I think are great investments when it comes to crafting. Because regardless of what you're doing, card making, scrapbooking, uh, just general crafting, they'll work for all of them. So I feel like it's not something that's gonna go out of style. You know what I mean? Hello, Jennifer, how are you? I need to hit Costco at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> bring snacks, breadcrumbs, <laughs> that'll be fun. Um, I am not hitting Costco this year. I just went and went to Walmart and just bought the chips because that's all I really like we're going so I said whatever's left over we're having turkey sandwiches until we leave that's how it is um that'll be awesome but yes Costco during the holidays is I th and I'm always like I just go with patience that's what I bring to Costco lots of patience and I smile at everyone and start up conversations um I don't run my cart into the back of their legs like, you know, just trying to be human at Costco. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys about some things, right? Uh, hi, Diana. How are you from Australia? How are you? My Xmas present, what did Julie say? From my husband is discovering Create. That's very exciting. Thank you, husband. Uh, that is wonderful. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Do you know I have not... Um, made a thing with it and I'm very envious of everyone that I see out there but I really feel like even though uh, Peppermint Kisses comes out so early in the year I feel like it need I need to give it its due so I have not started with Discover and Create we'll start that in the new year I do have kits left for that but um, the last day for shipping will be Wednesday until uh, two weeks into January. So if you do place an order, because maybe you get a gift certificate for Christmas or something, uh, just know that nothing will be shipping from my store. I did find uh, five Peppermint Kisses kits, the whole kit. So say you bought Access Only and you're like, I think I would like that kit. I would like to do all of that. Um, I would uh, give you a discount of whatever you paid for access only. So, or if you didn't even see that kit, there are, they are up in the shop. I think there are five of them I just found when I was cleaning up. So just to give you a heads up. Took my 19 year old grandson to Costco the other day. It was great. There was a lady with three carts. He helped her. How nice is that, Tina Marie? Good boy, right? I love that, Tina. And you got it today. That's very exciting. Got my hands on some peppermint kisses. Looking forward to creating with it. I love it. Okay. So let's I, let's talk. Last week. Was it last week? No. Friday, I think, maybe. I don't know. When, when did we do the gel plate prints? So I'm going to talk to you about this. Oops. I have stuff everywhere. We did the prints. And some of them looked like they were I'm looking at it going how am I going to cut this and I don't want to lose the art I actually love this I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I'll tell you that when we're doing the printmaking I I just love them 
right? I just love them. So uh, even that, and that was just cleaning the stencil, right? Like uh, we had pressed it through the stencil when it was on the plate. So this this is a new one. I did make a new one, but I didn't need this one. Um, this is one of the ones that I was just playing with this week and just did more like subtle because really for background, tone on tone is kind of where it's at. So I just went in with a kind of a subtler background and I did a number of those. And then some of these, like this one, see how busy this is? This one looked like that before. And I just went in and dry brushed some white paint around the circles. So uh, this is kind of what we played with on the live last Friday. If you didn't check that one out, you might want to. And that's what I'm saying. You could do any prints for this. They do not have to be holiday themed, right? So when I was cutting out, this was my original. I went through and I cut out all of the shapes and I'm like, um, I really love these and I don't think I want to cover them with pattern paper, right? I don't want, like, this is my favorite one. I have to say, um, oh my goodness, that kind of uh, turquoisey robin egg with the, the uh, stamped image through and then just the gold when I clean this, the um, stencil off. This one, we misted the dirty stencil and pressed it between the sheets, the sheets of paper. And I love how it turned out. This one, I went over top of it with a stencil with oxide ink and layered that on top of the print. So these all came out and I'm like, I really love these. And I'm just going to keep them as inspiration pieces. Because, oh, look at that one. I love it. So I did all of these and then went, I love them. I don't want to cover them. I'm going to do a whole new set. So this was the original. And then this is what I moved on to because I really love them. Hello, Jessica. I am really hoping lots of friends show up here tonight. Even if you're not making anything and you're wrapping presents, baking cookies, cleaning the house, crocheting stockings, uh, combing the dog, whatever you're doing, I really hope lots of you show up just to say hello. Uh, it means the world to me, right? This has been a very amazing, jam-packed, long year. And I won't be here. Normally, I show up on New Year's and stuff, and I won't be here this year. So this is, to me, like just our our kind of little chat session. So very happy. I have lots of new friends that I've never seen before. So welcome. I'm very happy to have you here. Um, but for some of the old friends, meaning been around for a long time, make sure you say hello to me today. It means the absolute world to me. Just so you know, if you think that it doesn't matter, for this lady right here, Vicki Booten, it 100% matters. I'm very happy when you guys uh, say hello. Hello, Dion. Hi, Judy. Hello, Sandra. Very happy to see you guys here. So I have to say something else that I did. Are you ready for this? Because I think these are, turned out beautifully, if I do say so myself. So let me see. I have a paper towel. So let me put them on here because then maybe they will show up. So I had printed just some thinner cardstock. And I had bought these dies. These ones are from, so they're front and back colored prints. These dies were from, what is that company called? Is there one called the Stamp Company? Is that what I'm thinking that does beautiful dies? Um, stamp Company, I think, right? So I had, last year had went and bought the oranges. They had the dried uh, oranges. I think it's Stamp Company. And then I bought these last year. So look at how beautiful these turned out. So um, definitely for any of your prints, die cutting your gel plate prints make the most amazing art. Stamp market. Though these are the greetery. They're the greetery. Thank you. They're from the greetery. So look how beautifully these turned out. Is it look bright? This I don't know why it looks so dark. On Maybe it's just my computer. But I have all my lights and everything are on. But I don't know. I hope that the view is not dark. So I also die-cutted die -cut some of these as well. They're from the Greetery, who I love their, their stuff. Amazing. The Greetery and Stamp Company are probably two of my go-to for more of my style of dies and stamps. Really love them. So I did... Did I cut those as well? So that is something that I was, I told you, I came down here and I just playing for the sake of playing. It was the bestest thing ever. 
So that's what I'm doing tonight, playing for the sake of playing. And this really is pretty much a bonus class. Hi, Kristen. How are you? Hi, Victoria. Hello, friends. And my diet cherry Coke. So then I came and I made a whole bunch of new prints. And then I kind of, and I'll clip it all so we can look at the things and then I don't have to reorganize it all. I went through and just kind of did things like I went a flag banner could be cute. Everything was out of my six by eight pad from peppermint kisses. So Jill, before you ask, this is not leftovers. Um, I broke open new packs of everything. I just went in new packs of everything because not everyone did the class and there's not much left. So I did uh, broke into new packs of everything. So I had just clipped stuff that I could possibly use for the front of this. I uh, die cut some different borders, if you can see that. So just I have strips and different layers that I can put on. You like my sweater? It's fun, right? So just did a bunch of things. So I'm going to clip these so I don't lose them. And I know that this is kind of for the front page, right? And then I took the December and put some foam dots because I thought that could be fun on the cover or one of the pages. And then even from some of my scraps, my friends, so chipboard frame, I have a chipboard frame. I think that'll be fun for the front cover, a little Santa or whatever you want. But this is the nitty gritty, what we got into, right? I had all of these little strips that I went, well, that's fun. Why not use uh, pieces that are really I've created for my own artwork, right? So I did die cut some of the scraps and then went into this one I'm talking about with uh, more simplified, right? I went and did backgrounds that I think work beautifully with pattern paper and all the embellishments. So that is one of the pieces. And then, like I said, I started just started grabbing and planning according really to what the color scheme is for the pages. So this is going to be, this book is going to flip up like this i'm going to put two binding holes on it okay and it's going to flip up like that so these are the pieces for the second page which i'm going to st just stack them inside like as we flip but that is the back side of this first piece do you have to make it a flag banner you don't do you have to use a die for this if you have one it makes it super easy but you could totally cut these out by hand or it could just be a rectangle with rounded corners, right? These are all almost five by seven. They're just a little shy of five uh, by seven pieces. So that is the backside of that one. But look at those prints. Dirty plate really makes a difference and just kind of kissing. Just be prepared. The gel plate's going to be big for me this year. Uh, doing a lot of stuff that I really want to touch on some things that will be wonderful for people who maybe aren't photo based. You know, like now that my kids have grown up, I find that I don't um, have as many photos as I used to the scrapbook. So I still want to make art and do wonderful things, but I would like to do a lot of collage and art journaling in addition to my traditional scrapbooking. So that's kind of, do you guys have creative plans for next year? Have you thought about that at all? So I don't know, you can get on board with me and do that. I'm going to be doing lots of it in my lives, probably some new classes. It's going to be a lot of fun. So here is the next page. And I just kind of clipped all this together and I'll just flip it over here. There's stuff on the back though. So I'll keep my hand on it. And then look at this print with a little bit of navy on it, right? So that is the next page. That is the back side of it is kind of a, uh, minty green and pink and then these are the uh, little stack that I have ready for this one because it's going to when it flips up it's going to go so um, that is like a long page if that makes sense right that'll be like a long page because I'm doing it like that's the style of flip book this time this year when I'm doing it and like I said just some mats a lot of them are three by fours because that's perfect from your six by eight pad, you can get four, three by fours from it. So I thought, let's just keep it simple. And then for the next page, 
I'm just going through it so it gives you guys a second to grab some stuff if you want to play along or um, gives me a minute to just kind of explain it and then we'll get right into building, right? So the next one, look how pretty this is. Let's clip this so I don't lose it because that is going to be the B side. So I just created a strip because I know I'm going to want to put that Christmas tree on something, this pink Christmas tree. So I just kind of layered it on the strip. And then look at this pl this uh, print. Very fun, right? Uh, I kind of put some strips of paper down and masked it. Lots of layers. Love the color. The B side of this one is just stars. They're upside down because I, I wasn't really that uh, deep into my planning that I should have kind of thought of that as we're flipping. But whatever. I can handle upside down stars. So that is the B side of that. We're going to cover most of it anyway, right? So that's the B side. And then, of course, I put my little deer in here. I love him. He's such a little deer. So again, I punched out borders from all of my scraps after I cut these out, right? When I cut the bases out, I had lots left over. And look how fun they turned out. So don't throw your scraps away. Use them to create something. And then two of the dies from the greetery. How pretty. And those are created from just a, a thinner cardstock. I wish I would use a little thicker, to be honest with you. I would use a little thicker, but I didn't. So we just go with it, right? Just go with it. I'm sure they will. Oh, you're doo -doo, only 80 once. What's happening? Uh, you won't regret it. A very useful tool. What? Tell me what you, um. what's a useful tool? I want to know. The gel plate? Or something else because sometimes I miss your conversations right when I'm just doing my thing look how pretty this one is so this print I used my glaze but you could totally use my um, lovely friend Simon's glaze any kind of texture paste on your gel plate test it but uh, I used the gold through the stencil and I love how that turned out on this kind of pink and red background so that is that bottom side. And then the, uh, I'm going to leave this clipped now because I'll just show you quick and I'll clip it back on there. How pretty, right? That's the B side. So I was trying to be conscious of when I did my A side and my B sides that I varied the color. Like if I did a green on one side, I went with the pinks or the reds on the back side. Uh, yes, you're making gift tags and bookmarks. I love that, Kim. I love that. And then down here. For this one, I had a leftover envelope I had cut from the paper, so I will grab a craft knife and I'm going to make um, the little mat come out of the little envelope. And then that is the uh, base for this one. It's kind of pinky peach and red. And then when we flip it, oh, look how pretty this guy is. Again, stenciled the gold onto the gel plate, or you could stencil it traditionally using the stencil brush, right? Very fun. Very fun. And then again, my mats are, for the most part, three by four. I did do on this one, you'll see um, on uh, the bottom one, some little squares. Something doesn't look right here. We'll figure it out. I don't think that, did I flip it by accident? I did. So uh, then I'm going to use a gingerbread man, uh, layer some mats, and then again, die cut a couple of shapes, and then the base of this page is really pretty too. A calendar for your mom, I love that. I'm sure she will love that as well. And then this one I did uh, two and a quarter squares. On this one is, oops, blues and pinks and gold. You can see that gold snowflake on there. Love it. But like I said, I just, I opened up. But if you do December daily or documenting December, uh, you probably have lots of Christmas collections, a mix of your uh, maybe 49 and Market or... Um, or uh, Simple Stories, or Echo Park, or Vicki Booten, or Paige Evans, Crate Paper, whatever you have, you really could mix it 
to do this project, right? This one is the last page. So I had, remember I said we were gonna use six pages. Well, I think if you have been counting, I think I did seven. <laughs> and I'm gonna go with it because I think I just love them. So I just kept making, look how pretty. With that tone on tone with the pink. Oh, so pretty. This was actually red though. And then I put the pink on top of it and then like this peachy color and then it made it like a, a raspberry color instead of a dark red. Some mattes and then the back side is I stenciled with the gold paste. Put some stars on there for texture. But love it. I think this background almost looks like velvet, doesn't it? Very fun. Very fun. So now let's start gluing and layering and doing all the things. So like I said, you guys can do whatever you like. If this is not going to be your jam, uh, make something else or just hang out with me. The one thing I am gonna do for punching the holes is right out of the gate, I'm gonna get a scrap piece of paper and let's make a guide for where the holes will be punched on each one of these. Do you want me to move the camera up a little bit closer? Let me know, because we can just zoom in on the one page I'm working on at a time, right? And then, um, did I flip that all around, right? Why does, oh yes, because this is going to be the backside. I was confusing myself right away. <laughs> it doesn't take much, right? So let me get a little piece of paper to make our template. Does that make sense? So when we punch our holes, we have something to uses a guide. Do, 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 do. I have not at this point decided that I'm going to put um, any kind of uh, sorry, having a brain spasm. So I'll use this as my guide. Yes, please zoom in. I sure can. Here I go. Sorry, arms are in the way. Is this okay? Better? I just have to make sure then I put this in. Is that better, Julie? Here we go. wheeling out my cart and then let's make a template for our holes let's just make a little marky mark that work it will and then decide where we want to put the holes because I'm thinking they're going to go pretty close to the top and remember what I said this is a almost four and three quarters it's not exact a little wider so what if I come in uh, inch and a quarter from each side is what I'm going to do okay inch and a quarter from each side so we have our little template and I do want to punch them pretty close to the top so they're not taking up inch and a quarter Okay, and remember what I told you guys that it doesn't matter how much space you have, it's never enough. I could have like an absolute ton of space and it still wouldn't be enough. So let's make sure that they both are going down because that is not, right? And then what is that going to be? We'll go down that half. So... 
that's where I'm going to punch that one. And here have okay. And do I care if it's exact? No. But now that will be my template for punching my holes. So I'm going to get my circle punch and I'm going to do the quarter inch hole. I'm going to center it on my little cross and create a guide. So you guys can hang out as long as you like. Um, I'll probably be here for a while. This will be a long one. This one will be a long one, right? And then you can go in, put your little template, right? right near the top and the first thing I'm going to do before I start building is punch my holes so that I will know exactly where I'm working and especially because we're working on the front and the back of each of these pages right so I might still layer a border but at least um, I have my holes punched and I know what I'm working with so I'm going to start it like that so what I'm going to do with this as well is I have embellishments that are kind of planned and then I have a whole bunch of stuff. Just like I do every time I'm kind of working on Christmas projects. I'll just grab old Christmas stuff, new Christmas stuff. I started um, with one of the chipboard leaves. Oops, I just ripped it. So I'm going to have to glue that down. Um, and then one of the little charms and I'm going to make a little charm to hang off of the binding rings. I do not care that some are some of it's gold and some silver, right? But these are going to, ooh, that's a tight one. This is what my binding is going to be, are just uh, jump rings, right? What are these things called? Binder rings? Ooh, that's tight. So I'm gonna do that. So when we get in here, remember I was saying, we had do we've done this before. We did this one with a whole bunch of Tim Holtz and Vicki Booten and a whole bunch of shaker boxes. One of my favorite things that I've ever done was in this little flip book. Um, I love this. This was a lot of warm wishes. But look at this one. So Tim had this piece that looks like the top of a uh, ornament box and then we took his little pearls and dipped them in alcohol ink and made look it can you guys see that so it looks just like a little ornament box so we've been doing these things for a very long time right lots of fun so you can take your stuff and like i said you still can make a great flip book that is um, yeah, I have my sweet brushes over there. I do a lot of tag flip books. I love them, right? And then we made a little pocket. And then this shaker was between two sheets of vellum with just some sparkles glitter in there. So you can do whatever you like. It does not have to be, um, it doesn't have to be mixed media if you don't want it to be. So for this one, for my cover, some of the bits that I grabbed is this is out of the papery, and I really thought that that would kind of be pretty on the back ground here is this black leaf. We'll see if it will stay on here or not because I could end up editing, right? And then I really like this frame because I can still see the background. I did have my little Santa, which I was kind of digging if I wanted to put him on there. A little Santa in the frame. I like the contrast of the green and red. I do have the December, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. And then we have a little, uh, the red piece that could go at the top if we wanted it to. Like I said, I made these, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use them all. Or it could also just kind of go in the base behind Santa which we could do. So that might end up happening. We'll see. There is a little tag. Just pulled a bunch of things. But I might keep it super simple. Right? Super simple. So I really think I ha haven't 
100% committed to a title yet, what I want to put on here. But when it was only the 12 tags, it could have been like the 12, just 12 something could use the 12. But now I'm not sure. Maybe Santa doesn't go in there and we do more of a title on this page, which we could, right? I could do um, some of that and the little 12. And then I could do something like along that line where it's like a title, right? Um, yeah, the Christmas tags, Irene, were some of my favorite too, where I could do something 12 favorite things of the holidays or something. So I don't know. What do you guys think? We could put the December in here. Because Santa could go somewhere else because I do like that, right? Ooh, I like that. Maybe that'll go on here, right? December, a beautiful sight. I do like that, but um, I'm going to show you something I think would be fun on top of that December is we could stencil with the gold glaze on top of the December, and I think that would make it pop. And then we still could put like the little red border underneath it too. Just to tie some right in there. I don't know. What are your thoughts? I do like this. So let's commit this guy. Um, I'm going to use this Barely Arts glue. And I'm going to glue this guy down because I do like him. He's staying. I see my friend Angie Blom is here. How are you, Ange? I did see you were working on your Christmas December daily, documenting the December. I had every intention that that was going to happen for me this year. And then I went and left for six weeks. And um, Christmas is not as traditional this year as it has been in the past, right? So, um I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but it's not looking in my favor because I've not taken pictures, didn't really decorate this year. Okay, I'm liking that. I like the boldness of that on here. Stencil with gold on the December. That's what I'm thinking, right? I think that that would be fun. And these uh, chipboard frames are all matte, so you can color any of them in, right? So let's grab, there are foam dots on the back, so it's gonna be tricky, but I'm gonna do it. Let's do it, because we can. There's a stencil brush, there's some gold glaze. I will grab some wipes, and I'm gonna get just a very simple stencil. Just one sec. Because I put them all away. I was doing my cleaning up. Just dots, that's what I want. Just dots, little snow dots. That's what I'm gonna do, just something simple with the dots. I'm ready to go now. I have stuff to clean up. We're going to put a little bit of glaze down. I'm going to put, this is a craft mat, okay? So I wouldn't recommend you put it right on your desk, but I can put it on mine because I can clean that right up, okay? A little bit of glaze. Gold just makes everything better, right? Just tapping it back into the container, wiping my palette knife off with my stencil brush. Gonna load that up. And I'm gonna also give it just a little squirt of water just so it goes a little farther. Not a lot, just a little squirt. And now let's 
put these little dots on there. You just don't want your stencil to move, right? So hopefully this looks cute. But I think it will. Oh, look how fun is that, friends? Ready for the reveal? I like that a lot. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to use it on this front page, though, to be honest with you. Um, I might like it having a little bit more space to live. I got, uh, Valerie got me the Misty Glue Press. So I ha it's upstairs. I haven't opened it yet. But being the amazing friend that she is, and she knew when I was on the live that I wasn't going to be able to get there and get it. So I have it too, friends. We'll bring that sucker out in the new year, right? We'll bring that out in the new year and play with that. Um, normally, you know, I would not clean this right on my craft mat. I would put it on a paper towel, but um, what do you say? Like when you just, it's what I have in front of me. <laughs> so we'll just do the things. So I don't think this guy's going to go in here. I'm going to go to my original plan. So it's going in the book, but I'm not going to put it on the front page. I want Santa on here, and then I will think on the title later. Santa's going to go here because I really like the contrast with the red. I know he's going to go on here. And I might decorate this page last. That's what I'm thinking um, because I don't want all the bulk when I'm going to flip it and do the next page. So we know what we've got to play with. I'm going to come back and do this page at the end. That's what I've decided, right? Sometimes we got to do what we got to do. The other thing that could be really fun and I've done in my past is that... Uh, is that I will um, sew on my books, especially when I'm layering stuff in the mixed media. I think that that could be a lot of fun. I know December's not going on here, so we'll see where we want to add it if we do throw the pages here. But we know this is for page one. And I will come back. So we are going to pay, build page um, two and three together. So it's going to go like this. Can you guys see that? See, that might be hard now that I brought the camera so close. We'll see. I like the Santa too, Irene. I'm putting this up a little bit, Julie. Yeah, so we can get both pages in. Sorry, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. And then this is going to go like this, okay? So for this page... I'm committing because I absolutely love. See, there's the top and the bottom. And I have this little layered um, simple moments, the little uh, cardinal. And then I went with this mat is a three by four, three by four. And then this one is a uh, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And they're just going to go offset down here like this. We'll punch our holes. And then I'm going to layer my guy in the snowflake and everything here. And then I opted for no photo on the top. That it's just going to be a little bit more layered business. But you totally could. Because I don't want to cover everything on all these pages. I want some of the artwork to show up. So I'm going to do some kind of version of the snowflake, the little frame, and then we can put a title here, right? Snowflake, the little frame, maybe the bow, right? I kind of liked that. Something like that. Okay, so let's punch our holes. Hi, Robin. How are you? Um, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. 
I'm going to punch my holes and we're going to glue some of this stuff down. And then it would not be unusual that I'll get my base kind of done and then I'll come back and revisit, right? Where I might want to add, I might want to add um, some more embellishments. Hello, Dandy. Merry Christmas, my friend. See a lot of people, right? You're cooking cookies. Yeah, if you want to watch us on your phone, I have to move because I can't see. I'm going to have to do those circles darker. I can't see them on this dark background. That's the one thing I wanted to do um, before the year is done is go and get my eyes checked. Might have to call tomorrow and see if I can get lucky and the eye doctor is actually in. I'm going to do that. Look at this. And hopefully I can see them better now. Do, 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 do. That song's in my head. There we go. I had to just do it off screen, friends, so I could see the whole the circle. There we go. Merry Christmas, Angie. You've baked five kinds of cookies so far. Three more to go. Um, you need one of these? Yeah, I have them. I have it, my friend. I do. I love this because it'll punch through everything and then I have the different sizes of holes, right? So my mats are going to go like this, kind of offset. I'm going to definitely use some foam dots and then I'm going to put this kind of snowflake because it ties some of the little bit of turquoise from up there and it's going to go a little bit off. It can totally go off the page because that's the magic of the tag book. And the other reason I love the tag books is I could make this as chunky, chunky as I want, right? I can get away with that because it's a tag book and it does not have to close completely. So I think I'm going to go like that. So let's commit the bottom page. I will commit it in the middle. And then I can foam dot the corners if I want to. And this guy's going to be flat. Oops. Got crazy with my adhesive. So we will just uh, reposition this guy to cover the glue. There we go. I am totally going to foam dot my little birdie yeah my mother's making the cookies i have not we normally make sugar and it's just not that christmas this year it just isn't like um i feel like uh traveling for six weeks prior to the holidays uh, I just, it's not in me this year, right? Does anybody feel like that? It's just not in me this year. I will, like I said, my focus, because I can't focus on what I couldn't do, I'm going to focus on what I can do. So what I can do is just have a really awesome time with my family, right? Um, it just, it is what it is this year. I am doing a hot chocolate bar for our family get together. Put marshmallows on. Oh, that's a great idea, Lisa. I'm going to be drinking sangria. <laughs> That's what's going to have. It's a weird vibe this year for sure. Is it? So it's not just me. I, I don't even know. And I have to, I will have to kind of think on that and revisit what, why. But I don't know if it's just a travel for me or what it is. It just, so let's pop up our little birdie. Yeah, it just is um, just getting by this year. You feel the same way every year. That's all right. Right? Your holiday does not have to traditionally be what people say it. It can be whatever you need it to be. And the holidays can be really hard because it could be your first year without somebody that you love or you're a lost a pet or, you know, relationships have changed. Uh, your kids aren't coming home. Um, it can be a lot of things. But I don't think it has to... Uh, it does not have to fit the Hallmark movie 
kind of Christmas. You know what I mean? It can literally be just uh, cook your favorite things, do your favorite thing, watch a movie, read a book, craft, um, eat the snacks, because there's definitely good food out there. That's the one thing, right? What are we drinking while we bake tomorrow, Natalie? Natalie will probably just be drinking coffee, right, Nat? Maybe a coffee martini. We need to make Natalie a coffee martini. We have scaled back this year. It, uh, it's just too much uh, to do by yourself. Yeah. The catering. There's nothing wrong with that, right? You don't have to cook. You do not have to cook. I love this little birdie. I'm going to put him lower, though, I think. Let's see before I commit. Because this guy is going to kind of come across the bottom. I love that. That's exactly where he's going. But you know what I did, which I don't normally because I still could slide a photo under. I love simple celebrations, right? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. If I was by myself, you know what it would be? My hors d'oeuvres all the way. I love hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres, a cocktail, a movie or a book, chips and dip, you know? Sometimes, you know, I won't lie. Like, I, I could totally handle just crafting all day, making something, pull my gel plate out, laying in bed all day. Oh, my goodness. That would be a Christmas present, right? We catered in Greek food for our family Christmas last weekend with your auntie, um, uh, Angie. And it was nice not having to cook anything. Well, especially if you're the cooker, right? I'm the cooker. So I feel like I'm prepping as much as I can because I don't get to enjoy the company because I'm cooking everything. I'm in the kitchen doing all the things and that's not fun. You know, that's not fun when you, everybody's laughing, hanging out and you're like, oh, okay. See, see you in an hour or whatever while I'm in here sweating and cooking. So um, you make uh, pizzelles. That's my favorite, Donna. I haven't seen my friend. I haven't seen my friend on here. If you're out there, friend, because we always talk about the pizzelles. Oh, I love them. Remember, I grew up in here in where I live. There is a little city called Thorold. And I grew up in Thorold, and I was the only manja cake on my street. Vicky Lynn with Angelina, Thomasina, Rosalina, Anna Maria and Vicki Smith. And uh, I grew up like Italian because all my neighbors, everybody around me, the best food, uh, the best celebrations, the, it's loud and everyone is talking and hugging and eating and drinking. I know Paula is not here. We haven't seen, I have to check in on her. So if anybody knows my friend Paula Prosper, you message her right now and tell her to come and say hello because I miss her. I miss her. Um, but yes, it was, I love Italian food. So I'm going to pop up the corners there. Okay. And then you could as well here if you wanted to pop up those corners because maybe just this one I will. Just on that side. I like it. So let's do that. Yes, Bona, Bon Natale, right? Bon Natale. I love that. To all my Italian learners, Bon Natale. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So look how pretty, right? On our gel plate background, there's one page. And I still can come in and embell embellish. It's not done yet. Uh, Lisa, hub side of the family struggling due to the death uh, in the family. We are doing pizza and dessert. And you know what, Lisa, that is tough. But hopefully you get together and share memories of the person that you lost and time together uh, certainly kind of helps to um, not heal the wound, but, you know, just kind of is like a solve, right? S salve. How do you say that? What do you call that when you put like a lotion on a cut? Solve? Solve? Oh my goodness. I can't remember. That was me trying to sound all deep and look at, I ruined it all. 
So on the top, I'm going to tie in now because we have blue. So I have to bring this blue. We'll have to come in the top. So we'll figure that out. I have this little piece, right? Which we could do like a little, oop, there it is. Soothe, no, hello, Cherie. Uh, balm, but there's another thing, not a balm, but it's like, it, it starts with an S, right? Salt, self, look it up for me, somebody, because I'm not making that up. I know that it is something like that. I read the books. Yes, it is, right? S-A-L-V-E, which is like something that um, soothes, but it's a lotion. <laughs> Rhymes with have, salve, 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 salve. <laughs> oh, just give it up, Vicky. Sometimes this girl's got to just, yeah, quit while you're ahead because you sound like you are a ding dong. So now to tie the colors in, right? I'm gonna for sure put a little one of these here inside and I can put another little subtitle, but I also would like to find something that is this color, right? So we will find that as well. But I do like this little green border. So I'm gonna start committing. And I like the little rhythm, rhythm, ribbon, sov. Thank you, sov. I, I did not make that up, right? It's like a sov. Thank you. See, I did know what I was talking about. I, I'm not a dum-dum. Well, kind of not a dum-dum. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are entertained with the craziness that is Vicky Booten. Um, I just make stuff up as I go. There. And now I'll repunch that hole. Uh, will you take care of yourself, Pamela? That's never fun. Just come and spend a little bit of time with us so you get a little break from having to think about and worry about the things, right? Um, like we were all, I found, we were all showing up lots during the pandemic, right? Because we needed each other. Like you, we were lonely. Like it's it's lonely. And some people are home, were home by themselves, right? You, uh, Your bubble was small. So, uh, and then I find that life got freaking busy, too busy. It's like we learned nothing from all of that. So I have definitely missed a lot of you guys. And I'm um, definitely, I'm going to pop this guy up. That guy's going to get popped up. Um, right there, not doing, like, calming down, doing the things. Uh, this week has been, aside from putting the Christmas tree up, is I'm wrapping up. Uh, design for my next Christmas collection. Crazy, right? As we're working on this one, we have been, we did the papery um, this week. We're sticker book, uh, the album. So we have been working very steadily on that. And then uh, I did make supper tonight. We went and picked it up. Uh, because I said to the kids, they're like, I want a home cooked meal. I'm like, then you need to home cook it. I cannot do all of the things. And you are not little babies anymore, right? They are grown adults who need to start doing the things. If they want a home cooked meal, then you need to cook it for me too, right? 2 a.m., very tired, can't drag myself away. You're here watching and you need to go to bed, Jillian. Where are you? What part of the world are you in? What part of the world are you in? But right, they don't. They need to cook. Definitely not a dumb dumb. You got it right. Uh, you know that. Um, what do you self deprecating? I will make fun of myself all the time. I'm totally okay with it. I'm sure some of you out there is be nice to my friend Patty, and I don't know if she's out there tonight. I should have said to her, Patty, come play. Um, she will say, Don't be mean to my friend Vicky. <laughs> when I make fun of myself, she'll be like, You be nice to my friend Vicky. So I'm gonna do this. So this is the blue flag that's going to go inside. Let's make sure it's on the right side, right? 
in the UK. Hello, my friend. How are things going? Whereabouts are you in the UK? I love going to London. I lived in Hemel Hempstead on my working holiday. So I was in Hemel for um, a couple of months selling caravan vacations when I was about 24. So like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah about two years ago you know when I was 24 um, I was selling holiday vacations you would call up and I would say oops look at I am not a good wet glue user friends thank goodness is this one is pretty forgiving see I only put a dab on but it was, went everywhere it went everywhere Vicky But I fixed it. I fixed it. Put my pin back in. Yes, you want them to cook and then what they make, you don't want to eat, Nat. Do you cook, Nat, or does your mom, your kids don't cook? It is, but I, I just don't want to do it. Like I told you, this point in my life, I'm just done making food for everybody. I don't, I know that it sounds terrible, but I still, I think Michelle is out there. My friend, um, Michelle Widows, and I stayed at her house and now she cooks, throws her, um, the chicken in the crock pot. And now I do that at least once a week. So fortunate. Both my boys are great cooks. And now I'm a guest for Christmas dinner. How nice is that, Jill? Um, I forgot to give that little mean voice on my shoulder, the finger, AKA a good flick or shove if need be. What happened, Nicole? I missed that. Um, I am making, uh, my dream is to have a cook that provides all our family meals, a cook, a housekeeper. I would love that. Do the laundry too, do the laundry clean the toilets, do all those things that I'm okay to, I've done for years. I'm good now. I can retire from that stuff. So do we like the red bow now? I don't know. I do like the snowflake though, because we're carrying our snowflake. So maybe I will edit the bow and we'll put something else, but I do like that. And now we'll figure out something to put inside our little window. So we have, right, I like that the little um, business that's going on here, we need some kind of title up there as well, but I think something needs to live inside that little frame. So let's look at what's little, sticker book. Sticker book is smaller scale, right? You see, that's, that is defeating the purpose, Jillian. You really, you are like me and we have control issues and we need to, oh, look at the two little mittens could be cute in there. And then I could put a little word, but look at those two guys, two little mittens. Let's try it. Two little mittens. To be a guest after 20, 20 plus years of Christmases, right? Yeah, very nice. Me too. I would be the best Chris. It would be the best Christmas. I'm tired of being an adult. Me too, Inch. Right? Me too, Ange. So let's see if our little mittens, and we could pop one up. I'm going to put one flat and pop the other one up. So say the little mittens are going to go in there like this. Right? And then we could pop the other one up with a foam dot. Love it! And I think it on the green is nice. So that guy's going to go there and this guy's going to get popped up. So I like to, on my stickers, I'm going to put a foam dot on, but so that the edges don't stick, then I take my little EK Success Memory Keepers, different companies have them, little powder tool. I even take the backing off of my foam dots and I'm going to de-stickify my sticker. I know it's like, isn't that defeating the purpose? Well, I want it to be more of a, um, 
ephemera kind of little piece rather than a sticker. I want it to stick where I want it to stick, right? So I think that those will be cute like that. And then let's see how this guy will go. Okay. He might have to come up top like that instead. And like this. I'm moving the bottom one. No, just go with it, Vicky. Don't be such a perfectionist all the time. Don't be such a perfectionist. I can't adult today, yeah. Um, I just don't want to have to make the decisions. <laughs> I just, I just want to kind of be along for the ride for a bit. Like, what is, there was like a new version of Freaky uh, Friday out with Jennifer Garner. Did you guys see that? There, I like that. Ties in my turquoise. It's cute. I like the little, let's see. So the snowflake, actually this vellum works just fine with your tape runner. So let's tack that guy down. And you could put another photo up here if you wanted to, but I don't feel like sometimes one, remember I just said, I don't have as many photos anyway. Maybe that guy will still go on here. Maybe not. Or we could cut the little limbs off of it. There, see? I love it, the vellum, the... um little what is that snowflake looks like it's part of the background there is a new one with jennifer garner in it it was really cute have you guys seen it have you seen the new movie called um genie with melissa mccarthy i really like that one and then the new one with eddie murphy I liked that one too. I love a good holiday movie. And then I watched some really bad <laughs> Hallmark kind of those Hallmark Christmas movies on Prime. And I'm like, the one I watched, I'm like, oh my goodness, the girl was an artist in it. I think what's it called? She went to live in Christmas town like they do, and she was an, supposed to be an artist. But you would have laughed so hard because she'd be painting something. And then the late Vivica Fox comes and asks her, would you want to come over for a tea? And she's like, sure. And she walks out with the paintbrush in her hand. <laughs> it is so bad. I'm like, she wasn't painting a darn thing. And where are her paints? Like she's outside and out of her suitcase, she pulls out two easels. And then she's like, oh, I had an extra canvas. I'm like, you rolled up to the house with one tiny suitcase. Is it called Candy Cane Lane? No, that wasn't the one. Oh, it was Candy Cane Lane. Is that the one with Eddie Murphy? I liked it. And then I went, oh, that car he's driving is really cool. And I went and looked it up and it was like a hundred grand. Uh, Jeep Wagoneer or something. I'm like, oh, wow, <laughs> Eddie. Oh, wow, Eddie. Right? I've watched all the Hallmark do you know the ones I'm talking about? Um, holiday in handcuffs. One of my favorite. <laughs> Are you serious, Amy? There is not a movie called Holiday in Handcuffs. There's one that I just watched. Um, I don't want to watch sad Christmas movies, right? Like the Christmas shoes or whatever, the red shoes, whatever. I don't I don't want to watch. I still like have a hard enough time with, do you remember the songs by um, where the breaker breaker and the kid was like on uh, like red. So vine. Now this is really kicking it old school. Do you guys remember the red? So vine songs. And then the kid was in a wheelchair or whatever and, or something and his dad died or I don't know. And he's on the CB and then all the truck drivers come or paper Rosie and then Paper Rosie like freezes to death in the song or something. It's craziness, right? Holiday in handcuffs. Oh, my goodness. 
Mario Lopez and Melissa Joan Hart. I would watch it for those two, right? Christmas shoes song was so sad. I can't do it, man. I can't do those sad ones. So now when we're looking right now, it'll be perfect. Little photo can go on here. Loving this. We'll put some kind of sticker here, but I need one more thing here. So let's look at what that's going to be. Something else needs. Oh, the black would be cool. I could put the little arrow if I wanted to. Family switch. Is that what it's called, Irene? It was super cute. I totally remember that song with the truckers, right? Oh, I got to remember what it was called and the kids on the CB. And then they all come. Uh, what movies are those? But I know the songs. Uh, I forget. Family switch. I thought it was really cute. It might not be for everybody, but I did. I really liked it. I would like another turquoise or red something element, something here. So let's find it. What's that going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, we could put a title. Tis the season. Might be too big, though. Too big. But we will find something because I just have lots of little scrappies. Oh, yeah, that could work. Two little hearts. Maybe three hearts that kind of go up here. The black one here. And then another something there. That's a possibility. I don't hate it. White Christmas is a must watch. I love that with Bing Crosby, right? White Christmas. Teddy bear. That's what it's called, right, Darlene? Teddy breaker breaker. Yes, right? It's a red so vine one. There's that one. And what other one? He has a couple songs that were like freaking growing up a kid whose um, parents listened to country music. Visit with Santa. I don't Christmas memories. That light green one. Look it. I'm going to put that on there. Oh, it says I can't Christmas memories twice, Vicky. You crazy. We'll figure it out. Yes, that is the song you're thinking of. They are all crying songs. It is 100%. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Have you watched the genie one with, um, with, uh, who, what did I just tell you? Who was in it? The genie one with Melissa McCarthy. Have you guys seen that yet? I really liked it, but I am a kind of a big Melissa McCarthy fan, so I like her. I feel like if you met her in real life, I feel like she would be cool. Has anybody met her in real life? Am I a liar? I like that, too. So some other business needs to go on this page. I'm not sure what it is yet, but this is a good place to start, and then I can come back and revisit it, right? Because I also might have one of my little scallopy pieces that I could put. Preacher's Wife with Whitney Houston. I love that one. That's good. And we can't forget my um, favorite Christmas cartoon, A Year Without a Santa Claus with Heat Miser and Snow Miser. I have to dig out that DVD because it will not. I have not seen any Christmas cartoons this year. And that's probably why it just doesn't feel like Christmas. because I love Christmas cartoons. I'm going to leave this now, friends, and I'm going to come back and revisit it. I know something needs to go here. I feel like I need multiple snowflakes is what needs to happen. But, like, this one is, I feel, like, too big. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's what needs to carry over. I would like another one that looks like this. So I will look for it, see what I have. Christmas collections are harder because it's a little bit smaller, right? They're smaller collections. So sometimes I feel a little bit at a loss because I don't have as many things. Okay, so this one here is going to be... It's 
So Christmas mats, and I'm going to tie the pink in. And I think this one we could do as a, uh, what do you call this? It could go as a, horizontal uh what do you call that die hard is your favorite i just showed olaf's christmas traditions three times today at school but i still love it i have not seen that that sounds like fun um heat miser is your favorite right yes it, heat miser i like um i'm mr white christmas i'm mr snow I'm Mr. Icicle. I'm Mr. Ten Below. They call me Snow Miser. Whatever I touch turns to snow my clutch. I'm too much. Do 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 do. He's Mr. White Christmas. He's Mr. Snow. He's Mr. Whatever. And then I don't really know the words to that song, but kind of. That is a favorite of mine. So I want to do the Christmas tree on this one. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Or are you like, um, okay, weirdo. So I don't know. Oh, I think this is what I was going to do. So I'm not going to use this whole piece. I want to round the corners and put it on there like just a portion of it. And then we'll scallop up a little bit of it here. You were heat miser for Halloween. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Yes, I love it. Right with all of the um uh with all of the stop range, whatever you call that, the animation. Love it. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off here for this side. Maybe this side. I kind of like this green. So I only want a little strip of that. So what are we thinking? about an inch we'll go with an inch and a half ish and then like i said i'm going to put it on here i just want to tie that color in and then i can also do like a little scallopy border or this could also be part of the title because the title on this one is going to be this merry and bright and awesome so we'll decide how that's gonna go but right that could go like that and just tie a little bit of that turquoise in that plaid with a little flag banner i'm gonna cut a little bit of this off you just watch national lampoons what's the one with the bb gun and that lamp that i know it's a classic do, do you guys watch that one I have, I don't know if I've ever seen that whole thing. I have a hard time with that kind of uncomfortable humor where it's like at somebody's expense. Do you know what I mean? I can't watch those shows. I am, I have a weird, uh, I'm weird. I'm weird. I just, I can't find pleasure in at somebody else's expense like laughter i'm weird i can't do it like those what were those um like the bridesmaid and uh hangover and i i can't i i am i can't do it i am a weirdo i don't find like i'm like why would you treat your friend like that so let's decide this side right around the corner and it's just a little punch but I feel like I like this green side so I'm going on this side I'm gonna put it on this side Boop. anybody with me I can't do it uh home alone is your favorite the sequel is a bit of a tearjerker what is that because you're an empath probably I don't know I have a real hard time with that I'm like how could you treat your friend like that yeah, the one with the BB gun. What is that movie? I don't think I've ever watched that, but I know like that's a thing, right? Because I see the ornaments and all the rest. But tell me if you watch that movie, if it's good, what is the premise? Is the dad nice to the kid? Are they mean to the kid or are they nice to the kid? 
Does he break his BB gun before he even gets it? Does he have a brother who's really mean to him? Because I won't watch it. I have a hard time with that. A Christmas story. Yeah. So are they nice to the kid? What are you saying, Dandy? What was that? It's called A Christmas Story. They just came out with a sequel, did they? Um, you should see it. It's Oh, it's, so it's a really sweet ending. I need to watch it. Okay, I'll have to watch it. What's fragile? What is that? Dandy? It's a quote from the movie. Okay. Fragile. Okay, there. So there is our base. And our little pink tree is going to go here. And then we do have... This little border, the pink that could, oh, yes, that needs to go up here somewhere. So let's cut a piece of that off. I love it. Fragile. For fragile. Fragile. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I love this little pink punch, punch of pink with the little bit mixed media. And this literally was just the scraps. Like when I, you know, you go in with your border punch or the die and you have the little pieces left over. And then I just went, I'm just going to make a border out of that. So it's going to go somewhere on here. Because I do think that that will be fun on here. Let's cut a little bit more of it off the side, I think. Like that. Ties in our pink. I'm going to flag border, border this one. You've watched it too many times. Nobody's mean. Okay, I'll watch it. I don't know why I've never watched that movie. I, I've probably seen parts of it. But I will have to, because um, it is a classic, right? Everybody loves that one. So the Christmas tree is going to go here. So I don't want my tree to be floating. So for sure, I need to put something along the base of that. Um, I will find something that is this pink that I also can tie in down here. But let's start. We'll glue the... I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to glue these pieces down. Okay, I like that. I like that I can put a, a horizontal photo there if I want to. What is that? Why? Landscape? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Very. There we go. And our little frame, this piece, I want it to come out like... How far? I'm not sure yet. Because where are we going to put that pink piece? Just moving that up a smidge. Just a smidge. Just deciding where I want this. And maybe this isn't going to go up there. Maybe it's going to go down here. Nope. It's not. It's going to go up here somewhere. I like it. That's what I'm going to do. I want that pink piece to go there. But I'm going to glue it to this strip. So that um, I can still slide a photo behind it. Okay. Okay. So let's see if I can use this glue. But 
without making a mess this time. Just a thin little layer, right? Thin layer. And see, did I make it come out? Oop. Very good. And then that's going to go there like that. And then I'll snip off the edge. I love tag books, mini books, just doing like, so it's just really for some of you guys that are like, I don't really do this. I'm very more of a traditional scrapbooker. Um, this is just a small version of a page, right? It's okay. So I won't take the stickers off the top. Well, because I it, just in case I'm layering a um, photo behind it. Let's see how that's going to. The dynamics of this one. See you later, Karen. Merry Christmas, my friend. These are just flying everywhere. That does not want to be my friend. There we go. I love that. I love that. So I won't take the two off. I'll just take them off the bottom. There we go. Is anybody going away for the holidays? Hi, Lori. I love the little books, right? I think that these are great gifts. Exactly that. And the other thing is, do you, if you're like me, I'll have tons of extra product that I don't do anything with. I just keep it and go, I'll use that later. Um, it's fun to make something and give it away. Right? This, I tell you that grandparents love this kind of thing, right? It's a great teacher gift. So I'm going to do like that. Right? I might still add more to it, but I like that. Put a little photo in there. You could sew on these, just keeping in mind what's going on on the back of it, right? Okay, we can put this guy back here. Can you guys still see that there? And now let's figure out how we're going to finish this bottom one. So uh, totally digging that business. I like the tree there. We'll find some kind of star to go on there. Um, you could put another photo here if you wanted, a little one. Uh, I thought some red. Let's see. Do we want to tie red in there? But I could do it on here if I wanted to. But no, but that's where I could tie the pink in, couldn't I? Let's look. Do I have a little piece of it somewhere in my little scraps? Oh, this could be fun, too. Look at Remember I told you something has to go on the bottom here because it just can't be. It could be like that. That's pretty. That's a maybe. But also... Or any of these decorating ones. Decking the halls. That could be fun too. Let's cut that out and see. Right? It's fun for these little guys. Just your extras. All the extra stuff. And six by eight books. The other thing, cards. If you have card, the box card sets. Make great mini books. There is a video on youtube it could be on insta on uh, facebook too where i've made a mini book from that oh, there's nothing wrong with that if you didn't have time to do all the scrapbooking go ahead and buy a book from shutterfly 
I certainly would not be the friend judging you. I'd be going, you got to do what you got to do. And if it means you, you get your photos in something, go for it, right? I would not be judging you. Sometimes it is literally uh, whatever you can get done is exactly what needs to get done. I love that. Deck in the halls, a beautiful sight. Let's do that. Boop, boop. I'm going to glue that guy right there. There. Glue my tree down. Yeah, it's tough, right? Jill, that's hard when your family that have been around that you grew up with and you spent time with are gone. You just have to make new traditions and um, celebrate those memories too, though, right? Like the things that you loved or uh, repeat the recipes your favorite aunt used to make or your grandma. Like I always, my grandma made the best bread she made bread and like i told you back in the day um they used what they had and her bread was made from she collected the drippings off of bacon hamburger i don't know she just her lard was from the the fat and stuff that was collected when she cooked and that meant that look at i love that boop so far, right? A beautiful sight, deck in the halls. We will find a lovely star. I will definitely finish this with stickles or something on just the little red dots too on there. But the one thing I would like to add on here is something with the pink. I'll have to figure that out. You know what I mean? Something with the pink. I don't hate that though. I'm just going to narrow it a little bit. I don't hate that. Here's another thing, too. Any of these designs that you like, um, but you don't feel like doing a tag book, could totally go in your 5x8 uh, albums, right? I like that. That little punch right there. I will find something that ties that right in, but I like that so far. I don't think I'm going to add anything else right now. I will find a star, some kind of star. What do I have right here? But I don't know if it's bright enough. I feel like I need a gold or something, but right, it needs a star on the top. I will find that. And for right now, this is a good start. Oh, I like that too. And then I could find a gold one to go up there. Let's see, do I have? Remember, because I'm pulling from, I have this bowl. right? You started an album for your nephew and forgot all about it. Well, see, that's why hanging out with us will um, remind you of all of the things. I don't know. I'll come back in. You know, I'm going to fill it with stuff, all of the things, because a lot of this is uh, stuff I've opened up packages and I have partial pieces. I have that one on the go. I have this container on the go. <laughs> Right? I pulled this. What would this one have been from? Uh, one of the older collections. And I thought that that would be fun in the pocket, maybe. So I did grab that as well. I have all my scraps. But I'm going to leave this for right now. And we'll figure out the other little bits that I want to come in. But I love that. Very fun. The next page is their dear page. The sweet little deer. So again, my photo's going on the top. It's going up here. Something like this again, kind of repeating our design. And then I have this, right, making a list. And that could go kind of like this. And that snowflake might not end up going on here. Might go somewhere else. And then we have our little deer. 
but we have to tie that pink up there too, right? And that's why smiling is my favorite. Ties the pink from down here. And we have our little deer and our little greenery. Pink and red together. Me too, Susan, in clothes too. Pink, red, I love it. In fashion and in my art. And then these pull that color down here as well. Right, the little branches. I'm not sure what's going on this back page. Let's pull it off with that clip because we need that. All that business will move aside for the next page. Okay, Vicki, what's going on here? There. So I'm going to glue those branches down because I know they're going there. Whatever I'm doing, I love the texture of that. See the painted branches? on that background. I love it. I love them. And it's not, it's not super traditional, is it, Susan? Right? The, um, the, uh, not for everybody, the pinks and teals and, but I do love them in Christmas. I tried to really, oops, I'm gonna have to wipe some of that off because that is some crazy gluing going on, Vicki. Um, I tried to rein it in a little bit in the, the collection that I'm working on for next year uh, is going to be very traditional, like a lot of black in it, uh, reds, greens, very little pink, a little bit of turquoise, just so it there's contrast when you layer your um, elements, your icons and such. You need some contrast with the papers, but it is very um, traditionally colored. Just to switch it up a little bit. It's very pretty, though. I think you guys will like it. I think I just heard Rich come down here. It's not Friday, so he wasn't at tennis because he's an athlete, don't you know? Do you, <laughs> do you remember him last week? Funny dude. I'm an athlete. I love pink and teal all day long, me too. So I'm going to put this guy on here like that. Oh, I love that. This kind of minty, there's a milkiness to this. Oh, let's press down, trying not to press it so that the glue goes everywhere, but we'll see what we get. We'll wipe it off. You gotta watch with these delicate little die cuts though, right? Because you don't want it to catch and tear. So I want most of that glued down. And then I thought the contrasting green, right? The contrasting green will be nice on top. He plays tennis, so he came down last Friday and was stretching on my floor and um, we were talking to him and he said something like, well, I'm an, I'm an athlete. I don't know. I think I said something about being an artist and Rich said, well, I'm an athlete. And we laughed, right? Just how he said it, it was, he, I don't know. It was really funny. I don't remember the context at all, but we laughed pretty hard at Rich the athlete. I'm an athlete. And it was just random. He was sitting on my floor. You'll have to watch that, the gel plate one. I think that's the one it was, right? He's a funny dude. We were laughing. And then I said that Rich and I were the Kelsey and um, Travis Kelsey and, uh, oh my goodness, Taylor Swift of the scrapbooking world. But we were the bargain basement dollar store version. <laughs> And we laughed. We thought we were funny. You know what I mean? I don't know if anybody else was laughing, but we had a good laugh. The athlete and I. The athlete and I had a good laugh. Oops. Look what I just did. Did you see that just happen? Yes, I did. Just dropped it on the whole page. I am a dork. The athlete and the dork. There. 
I like it. Just to add a little texture on that background, right? Right? Very pretty. Oh, we were laughing pretty hard, Rich and I. We were laughing about it after when I was talking to my mom. She's like, you guys are such dorks. I'm like, we sure are, aren't we, Sheila? There's no denying that, that uh, we are okay to laugh at ourselves. So we have, as well, if I wanted to use it to tie that green color, I could put that there, slide it under some of the branches, and then the little deer could kind of rest on here like that. And then a title. So cheers, it could be, but it's going to be something. He's going to stand on something because he's got to perch on something, right? You can't just have that deer just hanging in, in, in space, hanging off all crazy. So we will glue his legs flat and then pop up the top of him with some pop dots. Do you go through uh, a lot of foam dots? Are you a foam dot lover? I am a foam dot lover. Right? And then he can go on here like this. Foam dotted up. And then we will tie some of our colors in because we do have the green, but I'm not going to use that now. I don't think I can use any of those, but I do love the heart. But that won't work, I don't think, now either. So, but a long word would be nice down here. So we have a smiling is my favorite, Christmas memories, holly jolly time. Um, we'll figure out something. He's got a perch. Lots of dimension. Yes, because you can in a flip book, right? There are zero rules when you're using it, doing it in a flip book. So we have a beautiful sight. Nope. Christmas magic. But I feel like we need some more color. I don't hate that, though. But me. Oh, story of today. That's fun. I like that, but let's make a little adjustment. Oh, we didn't even, Vicky, you ding, dingleberry. I didn't even glue that down yet, but let's punch a hole in our tag because I think twine would be nice on here too, don't you? I'm gonna go the smaller hole. And I did bring some twine, I think. Right, don't you think twine would be cute on that? I don't know if I need the green tag yet. I don't know, because I kind of like the business going on back here. But I do like this moving up a bit. Not that much. Right. Oh, that's not fun, right? You use them all over the house, and so your foam dots are always uh, all over the house. It is a problem, isn't it? I like that. Story of today. i got to punch my holes. I didn't do that. Totally love that. That's going to happen. And then, again, I'm not done on this page, but so I love to give those a little buckle, right? So it looks like a little, right? There is dimension in that. I just turn it. I love this deer. I feel like we need 12 million more of this little guy. Oh, 
want to see a little bit of his feet there. Let's punch the holes. And you could put, if you wanted to, um, eyelets on the top of all your pages too. I really think, oh, you know what? We should find my, I have to do this over here so I can see. Sorry, friends. I can't do it with a reflection from the camera. I can't see anything, the lights. That deer is one of my favorites too. 10 million might be enough. I need 10 million of them. But there, I love it. So I am definitely not done on this side. Like I, we need more stuff on this page. I just don't know what it is just yet, right? So like I said, it's a good place to start. Oh, I could have put one of the little vellum uh, circles, couldn't we? I like that. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When we begin, it's Do, Re, Mi, A, B, C. Yeah, that could have been, but it would have had to go down first. But I don't hate that. But it's not happening. But this is, right? Hi, Keisha. Gems in the granary. Yes, we totally could, right? Love it. Because we do need that next layer of embellishing. Um, and the pink is tied in, so we're good. I just love that background. I don't feel like we need to do too much on here because if we do, we're going to cover up all our art, right? We had this, the tag, which we could do. What do you guys think? It could be on there. I don't hate that. And then twine could go on here, right? So we could do this and then some twine could go behind the deer. What do you guys think? And then it ties that green in a little bit or no tag. Cause I don't hate that either. Oops. I think no tag. I'm going to say no. I like the tag, but I love all that gold. I just don't feel like I want to cover all the art up. So remember I ask and then I do what I want anyway. It's not on purpose. I'm just going to go with it. Just gonna go with that. I'll put something behind there, but I we have something behind there. It's all that gold embellishment, right? But maybe like what about little stars? Wouldn't that be fun? Just some like little stars up there. So we'll find that. Like look at or the hearts. There's hearts, I think, on here. But like look at the little stars or the hearts, but not gold. They have to be black. That is my feeling. They need to be little black stars. But let me show you what I was thinking too. If it's down here. Oh, I don't have, oh, I do. Let's look. Do, re, mi. Um, what colors do I want to pull in there? That lime green. Ah, oh, I love it. Do I have another bit of this? Let's see. Like this. So I know lime green stars, really? But it will tie that green in. Oop, I lost that one. It went flying. Look at that. Oh, look, and it's black on the other side. So maybe black stars 
but the lime green is kind of fun, right? Or both. I love it. I love it. Ties that in, ties the green in. It's texture on the gold without covering the gold. I think I need another black one if I can find it. I can. There we go. And then what I went to grab Right, one, two, three, it's an odd number, it's good. Look at that, right? That's perfect, that'll work. Now, I wanna to talk to you guys about what I went to pull is the uh, enforcers, right? The whole enforcers, instead of using, um, let's see, what color can I just, I'm not necessarily gonna, keep it in this but just to show you that you could totally go through with a coordinating color did i punch it and you could add all of the little i think that would be i'm not going to do it in that color but totally could do your little um they're called reinforcers right so let's put this down. Is it still sticky? I don't know. Let's see. Will it work? I have this, but I think I wrecked it. It's not very sticky. That little rubber end is supposed to pick things up so you can glue it. Oh, I have this, though. Here we go. So now, put some glue on here, and let's glue these guys down. Ooh, Vicky. No, no, no. No, no, no. That is crazy amount of glue. Uh, no crazy lady what were you doing clean that up I'm gonna wipe this one on a little bit of that glue put it down there look at friends like really I don't know. Are you okay with me just keep working here and finish this? Because, you know, I'm going to be here for a while. Or, because this was my plan, right, for our Christmas party, crafting party, is that I was going to be here for a while. Or do I get the bones of this done and finish it off camera? What are your thoughts here for my 12-hour uh, live-a-thons? See, this is why wet glue and me are not super great friends. Because then everything starts sticking to me. Because I am overzealous with the glue. It was clogged. I just squeezed harder. And then glue went everywhere. Like a crazy lady. Keep going. Yeah, the West Coast girls are like, we're fine. My friends in New Zealand and Australia are like, oh, it's early here. There we go.
Very good. I love it. So that's that end, right? And then we will tie some things. Like I feel like a little bit of brown needs to go up here. We have a little bit of the craft on there. Where's that pin? Do you see it? My space is getting a little on the messy side. Are you noticing that? Vicky, Vicky. But I lost the pin to put in my glue. It's here. Oh, there it is. It's not lost. It is just overlooked. There we go. Um, I hear you, Keisha. I went to bed at 2 a.m., put my Christmas tree up so we would have a Christmas tree. So um, I laughed. Devin was saying something to me. I'm like, dude, I was up until 2 putting the tree up. Have a little drink. So I like the green is tying in. Um, and now I feel we have to glue that top part. So let's do that. So we'll just put him up here. And then we are going to think about what we could do to tie a little bit. I think of that brown. We need a little bit, which I have a paper that has wood grain on it. Right? There is this is going to be popped on the back side. So I like to give it a little curl. Right? And then this guy is going to have some pop dots on the ends. Oops. They're not super sticky. Gotta make it, make it stick. You went to see the lights last night? That's fun. Matches stars on the top. They do, Irene. Thank you for pointing that out. It totally does, doesn't it? So which paper has the wood grain on the back? It's the blue stars out of the paper, which is, look at right here. So don't you think if I scalloped a little piece of this and put it down on here, look at that. I think it will tie the brown from the deer in. See? So a little brown piece up here. So let's create a little scallopy border. I love it. Tie in your colors. Colors that don't really pink and brown and green. What are you thinking, crazy lady? But we're going to make them work. And I'm going to use this one. I have not even touched Discover and Create yet. I love it. I cannot wait to play with that collection. I have not even made one single project with it yet because I've been completely focused on sending out um, peppermint kisses with a bang, right? It's so hard to leave it alone, too, because it is one of my probably all-time favorite collections. Okay. My garbage can is on the opposite side of where I normally have it. So I feel like that is kind of throwing me for a loop. Your kit arrived yesterday. I love it. The wood grain star reinforcers, that'd be fun too, right? Be fun. Okay, now what are we doing this on? Here. So pages are opposite, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like a little strip of that at the bottom is going to be totally fun, fun, fun. So I'm going to cut, I don't know, three quarters to an, yeah, about three quarter of an inch border. Yes, I have not. I cannot wait to make the projects for that one. It's going to be a fun one. So almost an inch because I can bury it behind too. But just so I have something. I love border punches. I'm now throwing everything on the floor. So see, now this guy can go under here. Oh, I love it. 
and it has that kind of little bit of a masculine vibe doesn't it my little like uh lump lumberjack vibe going on here so let's finish it the same on this end which is going to be about right here And then we can tie the pink in. I love it. Let's do it. I'm gonna bring it down as low as I can. Straighten it up a bit. Or just Go with it. Smiling is my favorite. Me too, elf. Look at, love it. So you've got that little reddish in here, tied in there. The lime green carried over with the stars, like Irene said. I love that. And then I'll probably put some gems in there. They'll be like little rhinestones, sparkle in the sky. That turquoise is carried here. Then the brown from the deer. Very fun, unexpected double page, right? Hey, excuse me. Sorry. So this one, people ordered like crazy with Discover and Create. I just put in a new order for it. I have this one and then one that these are little circles. And I do love this punch. I'm probably going to use that with Discover and Create. So let's flip that guy and let's go on to our next page, which this one is going to be with the poinsettias. Right? Where did we put the rest of that? Oh, just piled on top, right? Yes. It's all pink. I'm using pink and red and turquoise. Okay, so I've got a mess going on everywhere, don't I? There we go. Cleaned up a little bit. So we have, this is going to go up top somehow. Ties a little bit of pink with a little music notey like that, like that. And then I have this guy that is gonna somehow go like this or somehow, what are we gonna do? It could go behind, couldn't it? Like that, maybe, on the top. And then this guy is going to be going in this envelope. We have the green envelope. So I'm going to get my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut that out so this can slide inside. Is that correct? Yes, it is, but no, I'll have to tie that turquoise in up there somewhere. Okay, craft knife, where are you? Remember I told you I have to get some kind of screwdriver thingy to tighten the legs on this chair because you are going to see Vicky is going to be doing a live one day and the chair is going to be like Goldilocks because I can feel it's moving around. Question. Sorry to derail the Christmas discussion. For the cruise, uh, do we bring our own gel plate? Well, Don, I think I'm going to be putting that in the kit. I think everybody's going to get maybe a five by seven. I haven't decided yet. I have to, um, I'm tightening these because this really is, I could go down. The screws are coming right out of this chair. Let's see the side that bad. I don't think as bad as the other side that I could have fallen right here while you guys were sitting here listening to me and Vicki could have Goldilocks. 
there'll be a kit it will be fabulous you wait anybody doing that because you know if you live in the florida area or you can get there there are still spaces in that the first leg of that cruise there are spaces or if you're doing the second one and you want to come and join me for the first it's going to be good and um people are afraid of the mixed media one right but we're going to be doing gel plate printing and it's going to be really fabulous. I haven't decided if it's going to be an eight by 10 plate or five by seven, but even if you have one, you're going to get a new one and it's never bad to have two, but I'm working that I think into the price. So I'm cutting into, into the price of the kit. Okay so that we can insert in there. It's gonna really be fabulous, that class. And people who are scared, I'm like, just come and do it. I won't disappoint you. And then you have me for a couple of hours, more than that on the cruise where we can do the gel plate printing together. So I just made that so that I just threw on the floor in case you're wondering. You just found pop dots where? Under a bunch of books, I love that. I'm so excited for the cruise, me too. It's gonna be good. I want to do both, but only making the second leg. Yeah, you can't wait. We'll have a really good time. Vicki, uh, get that chair fixed so you don't break a leg before your vacation. Right? Isn't that funny? I could. I could fall right off of it. So I'm going to end up putting this one down on the bottom, which ties the green from the top part. Right? And then I have turquoise mat here. I could put the music note out of there. Maybe that's what I meant to do but I'm gonna swap those. Look at that. And then that's what's gonna come out of this page. Isn't that fun? So let's punch our holes and then let's build this beauty. Look at, I'm just telling you, gel plate printing, um, you can do just some beautiful, beautiful things. And it you don't have to make every print like layers and ghost prints and all the rest of it. Um, there is some magic in just tone on tone layered prints. So doing a whole kind of monochromatic or a whole series in one color, two colors, beautiful. Yes, they are the bar stool chairs, but the screws need to be tightened because every time you get on and off of it, right, you move the legs and I'm going to end up at some point just hitting the floor you're coming on that cruise too so anybody who's coming on is anyone doing both weeks or are you just doing the one week i have not even i'm not gonna lie don i have to get through each stage right so i have started doing a little bit of plan planning and thinking for that one but i haven't ordered kits or anything like that yet so um to be honest right i'm not sure yet so I'm going to put double-sided tape right here to make a pocket. And you could leave this as a pocket. That piece could come in and out. Or you could just adhere it. So yeah, I'll get there, but not even close, right? You're doing the first week as well. Serenity are on both. I love it. So yeah, there I will be putting, there'll be some paints. There will be stencils. Um, some really fun things we're going to look at doing. It will be, the kits are always super generous on the cruises, right? So um, yeah, I will start planning that when I get back. That will be in the planning stage. We'll open up um the private group but it's because i'm gonna have that i'm gonna have discover and create planning for texas 
there's lots of stuff going on, right? Texas and Spokane, because I'm going to be in Spokane, Washington again with three craft chicks. So I will be planning for that one as well. So when you glue this down, I'm going to glue just the sides and bottom where I cut, right? There's my double-sided tape. And then I'm going to glue this down so that um, it doesn't get caught. You're going to the Texas retreat. Whoop, whoop. I just ordered my kits for that one. So that will be fun. So that is done. It is on its way to Cherie in Texas. It is a mix of uh, some of Vicki Booten. There is some brand new uh, scrap, uh, pardon me, simple stories in there. Some of the new collections releasing. It's going to be a very fun mix, right? It's going to be a very fun mix. Spokane, I've ordered all that product as well. That has been ordered. <laughs> but the cruise will come next. Part of that has been ordered, but not everything yet. So I'm gonna put that guy right there, glue that down, glue that down, but we'll, we can pop that up a little bit, right? So commit. And then this guy is going to curl a little bit and slide inside the pocket. There, like that. There. And I'll put it on a little bit of an angle. And then your photo can go in there as well, right? I'm not going to have this come in and out. I'm going to commit. I don't need inter any interactive on this one. I'm just going to leave that as is. But I will fo foam dot the top there. And to be honest with you, we don't have to put a photo here. We could put stuff coming out of the pocket. When will you be in Spokane, Vicki? Uh, in April? You'll have to look at, I don't know my dates, the 7th, maybe? Sound right? Does that sound right? Um, how long before Discover and Break do you offer the access only? Uh, I have to wait till... I have to I haven't done a sample for discovering create. As soon as I do the sample, my kits will sell out. I have uh, a chunk of them left, not much, uh, uh, but there are a few kits I have to sell and they won't sell now until I put a sample up or some people could be waiting till after the holidays. So uh, access only will go up a couple weeks before, but everything is listed on the what's in the kit is listed on um, the website. Sorry, needed a drink. So now for this one, I wanted to do, so I have a little scallop border. I think Merry Christmas on here will be really cute. I should have moved that up. That should have went up a little further, but it did not. So now we got to figure it out. Well, maybe I won't center that exactly. But see, that was my plan. But it's okay if it pops off the page a little bit. Just go with it. Just go with it, Vicky. I should have planned a little better. That should have come up a little bit. And then I thought that that would be fun, right? Just put that on there like that. Maybe it will come off like this. Merry Christmas. Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. Do, 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 do. I like that. Okay, like that with our envelope. Very fun, right? So let's put our poinsettia right there. Three crafty chicks, yeah, for the info on the classes. Um, I have it. It's in my calendar on my phone, though, right? So it is at uh, Three Craft Chicks. It is at Three Craft Chicks. I will be back in April. And then I am also in Texas 
for the event with my friend Paige Evans, which is going to be a ton of fun. And I know a lot of you are coming. That event sold out literally in under 24 hours. And I know Miss Paige as well has uh, been planning her kit for that one. April 5th, ditching my husband on our anniversary. Oh no, Kristen, but I get it. But you guys, you know, you've been married for a while, right? You can celebrate on a different date. It's okay. You got to go see your friends and craft the weekend away. Um, it's the 5th of April. So you definitely want to check that out. But um, I'm using doing something a little different, which will be fun for my I'm doing layouts at um, the event in Spokane using discover and create, but it's going to be something different. It's going to be fun. So I did order all of that. It um, and then it shipped to me instead of shipping to Spokane. So when I get back, I have to pack that all up and, excuse me, get that shipped to where it belongs because I don't need all those kits here. We need them there. So I'm gonna double this up, right? Uh, Vicki will be there in person. Not sure if she's doing the virtual part of that one too. I what white paper did you use for your gel plate tags? Um, Irene, I used, it's a scrapbook.com paper actually, but it is a nice weight. It's got to be over, it's at least 110, I would say, Irene, about 110. Um, is online in person. I think it's going to be both the one in Spokane. So that's good news, right? So I believe it's going to be both. I believe it's going to be both. We haven't really talked much about it yet. I'm sure they're still um, finishing up all their Christmas goodness, right? I'm going to put that right there. I love it. Merry Christmas. We'll commit. This double roll of double-sided foam is a very tacky that I have here that I don't even know where I got it from. I just found it in my stash. There. Okay. Yep, that is committed. There. I have this piece that we could tie some of the black in the top. And then we could tie the red in here if we wanted to. I'm not sure yet. Oh yeah, I have a little piece of this pink too, right? To tie that in there. Because I'm not sure, did we decide if we're gonna put a photo on here yet or not? I don't know. Let's just do a quick little border punch. Vicki, did you ever think uh, that a career in art would be so tiring? <laughs> well, don't forget. So I have been scrapbooking as for as a profession um, since Riley was oh before he was probably a year old, right? So I was on every design team. Like, I, I put the work in to get here. Um, I was on basic gray. I worked with uh, making, mem me making memories, I think it was. Uh, simple stories, like all of them. Every magazine that was out there back in the day, I worked for. I did the trade shows. Like, you know, I, I have um, put the work in. Let's just say I, I've put the work in. So I don't know if I've ever rested. Like I've been going for so long, right? It has been definitely um, a great deal of work and fun, right? So, but when it became, I uh, made this a little bit 
more my business, right? I started doing more of this. It is, um, I don't know. I have a hard time to say no. <laughs> I give a lot of myself uh, very happily for the most part. But I have to say I'm tired, right? Um, I, I'm tired, but I, I'm still here doing it because I love it. I'm passionate about it. If you've met me in person um, and you need help with something, I will stay extra time. I will always, I like to give back. I feel very much that when you guys buy my kits, you buy this product, you support the independent stores, you come to my classes, you show up on a Friday Night Live. Um, I appreciate it very much. I don't expect it. You guys have busy lives and you're doing all your things. So when you make the time for me in, in any way you support anything I'm doing, I will give back 25 million percent just because it's who I am, right? So I have to say that I've done different versions of all of this, but I think I've been exhausted for the last forever, right? But I don't know. I don't know if I could do any do it any other way. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So look at, I tied a little bit of that pink in, which will tie this pink in and that pink. So you will see it when you flip it, but I'm totally okay with that, right? That little bit of pink. But I do feel like some more business needs to go on here, but that will be the next layer that I will do, right? Loved meeting you in person. It was on my bucket list. I love meeting you and having dinner with you as well, Irene. It was so much fun. Um, I hear you, Vicki. We love you and support you and your effort is so appreciated. You've got to take care of yourself. Well, and we're going, thank you very much. Um, we're going away. So we will get a chance to do that, right? We, I will get a chance to do that. And it's what I said when I was called my brother to wish him a happy birthday is that, uh, he runs his own business as well. Um, does, he's a health and safety guy. Um, so he does his own. I'm going to put that up here, I think, like that. Because I want to see those music notes. And then this guy will go like this. Kind of like that. But maybe part under and over. Do, 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 do. I'm going to cut into that. Watch. I'm going to cut into that part and see if I can do this a little bit more. Um, so that's what we said. When we go, we are going to totally en enjoy our families, each other, because it's very fun that they're going to be coming with us. My brother and sister-in-law, my nephew, his girlfriend, Riley. His girlfriend, Devin, her best friend. It's going to be a lot of fun. I like that. See? So that will go with this, right? I definitely have to get some green down in here. There's got to be some more green on that bottom one, but we'll get there. But I'm digging that. So let's commit. Let's commit. Do. Yeah, I've been doing a lot for a long time. Um, this year has been just crazy. Um, it has been, the work has paid off. You guys show up. I'm telling you, just that whole experience in New Zealand and Australia. And the cruises, mind-boggling how awesome you guys are and how supportive um, with all the kits, with these Friday Night Lives. It is just really is unbelievable. Like, I still pinch myself. Like, is this really what I'm doing for a living, right? Hello, just getting here. Is this peppermint kisses goodness? It sure is, Linda. And then the gel plate prints that I had done on the a previous Friday night. It just is 
uh, it's been an amazing year. But when anybody, and I know some of you, you run your own business or your spouse does or your family members, um, the work doesn't go away when you're the one doing all the work, right? It is, um, it's a different kind of thing. I think I just have to tuck it. Just tuck it, Vicky. Oh, I like that. Yep, we're doing that. That's happening right there. Right there. Right there. Well, and I don't have to come on and do five-hour Friday night lives, Thursday night lives either, right? But um, when I come and do these, this is when I actually get a chance to create. If it wasn't for you guys and joining me here for these lives, um, it's like when you talk to scrapbook store owners and they're like, I started a scrapbook store because I love to scrapbook. And they're like, as soon as it became a business, I never scrapbooked again. <laughs> Because it's just different when you, you um, have to do the business side of all of this, right? So me getting to do these lives with you is when I get time to be creative. And I am very thankful for that. So now I love that top and bottom. That for sure I will end up finding a label or some other word. Because I do like the titles on all of them. Like there's very... Oh, <gasps> Look at that. I love that. I could totally do this, right? Like that, maybe. We'll come back. We'll decide. But I will embellish it a little bit more. But I feel like let's get the bones done. Let's get the bones of this sucker done. No kidding. I'm trying to run a small business to earn money and get my dream uh, publishing business running and scrapbook on the side all despite multiple disabilities. There isn't enough time. It is... It is a lot. There's not enough time in the day. As soon as you make it your business and you're the one who is the uh, conductor of the whole thing and you wear 20 different hats, it's a lot of work, right? And I also, like my friend Catherine says, like to manage everyone's happiness, right? So I know when it's my name on it, if I don't get the stuff done right away or whatever, it's, it is all on me. But in the same breath, something's got to give. And sometimes it's just, it's just, I have to apologize, right? It's like, I'm sorry, this has taken so long or whatever, but it, I'm the only one here doing it. So, you know, if I get sick or anything happens, then the work isn't getting done. It's all on me. I cannot, um, it can't be where I can blame anybody else, right? It's like, I just have to own it. Like, sorry, I, I'm i sorry I disappointed you or whatever. I'll try to make it better. Um, but it's all back on me, right? Nobody's going to fix it for me. So I am going to do something like this, I believe, on this page with some hearts with the blue and the turquoise, love it. So goodie bag, these hearts are from the goodie bag, one of my favorite SKUs ever, because when we were doing my collections, I said to Melissa, who I work with, is, um, excuse me, ma'am, but I need more embellishment. <laughs> so, um, I said, what about a bag of mixed embellishments? Like if we could mix it up, right? Um, and we came up with this, which is called goodie bag, right? And then it has a lot of goodness in there. It has vellum, it has... Uh, what are these called? Cardstock. It has acetate. I absolutely love that skew. And it's all going to kind of come to play on this page with the turquoise and the gold. I have to punch my hole still. We'll tie the black in with a little acetate star. And I thought if we can get it to work, 
that um, this guy would be cute, right? Put a little gingerbread man, little gingerbread man. I love that, Mary. You're about to pass out. It's bedtime. See you later, Fred. Did my mom say good night? Ah, where's Sheila? Are you going to bed, mom? I know I have a, a problem, but I'm almost done. I only have another page to go in and I'll finish embellishing it. Uh, bedtime, Vic. Love your tags. Beautiful. Merry Christmas to all. Enjoy your holiday and your families. That is from my mom, Sheila. Thank you, mama. Love you. Um, love the name goodie bag. They let me, I pick that and they let me go with it. So I'm always thankful for that because, oh, I love this page. I love that. Love that. So um, let's commit. Let's, I'm going to punch the holes after I actually attach this, but it's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I haven't seen my friend Marlene in a long time. Um, I will have to check up on her. Because her, her grandson is a race car driver. And when he wins, she always says, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, thank you, Nicole. Remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't already. And don't forget, friends, you do remember... I didn't tell you guys, so if you left, sorry. Hopefully you come back and check. But I'm doing giveaways tonight. Did you guys remember that? Did you read it? So tonight, I'm going to be giving away, randomly selecting, and I will post it on the uh, 27th. Does that work if I post it on the 27th? So on Facebook, and you have a chance on youtube so both platforms right i am going to give away a hundred dollar gift certificate to vickybooten.com on both platforms i am going to give away a um vicky Booten surprise box as well on each platform so two hundred dollar gift cards to vickybooten.com and then two grab boxes that I'm going to fill with a whole bunch of yumminess. This is all you have to do is leave a comment on you not now on um on YouTube. It's in the regular comment section so when I'm done this video and it is no longer a live conversation in the regular section underneath the video. All you have to do is go and leave a comment, just any kind of comment. What your favorite thing that you learned this year from me, um, your favorite product, uh, the best thing about the lives, uh, whatever you want, just something. Just I don't I don't know. Like it's this is gonna sound corny, but just. Tell me something that you've enjoyed from spending time with me this year or for my product or something that uh, it's nice to hear what you've enjoyed, what we've done, what you'd like to see more of. Um, but it will be leave a comment on the Facebook and on the YouTube for multiple chances to win. And I will be drawing randomly and then it won't be I won't be sending them out till I get back. OK. Um, but not on this section. So I'm, I'm telling you now, don't leave the comment. You can still keep talking to me, but not the comment on the uh, YouTubes on this live chat. You need to leave it on the regular uh, conversation after. Okay. And then I'm going to, I just, you guys give, you show up and it's my way to give back is to give a couple of really fun prizes away, right? So you will have to add a comment on the, the replay of the video. So it's not on the replay. It's on the regular comment section, right? So it is just the right, like how you would comment if it wasn't a live video. I just don't want you to comment on this section because it's hard to see. And plus, it's just another way you can give back. Because leaving comments and all of that on my YouTube is super helpful for other people to find it right? I'm going to glue this guy down. 
and then I'll put something to embellish the center of it because it's vellum and really I would normally staple it but I don't want it to show on the other side so I will just glue that down and then I'll put something on there to embellish it but I thought that would be fun and I forgot so you make sure you tell your friends because a lot of people would have left already um, is that I'm going to do some giveaways so you want to leave a comment in the regular comment section here on YouTube and you can just comment just something you've loved if you're watching on Facebook right now it's the regular you can comment on Facebook and I am going to randomly select uh, so put giveaway in your comment too. put giveaway in your comment in on Facebook so I know that you heard this and you want to be part of the giveaway uh, put giveaway on Facebook uh, in this video and on YouTube just the regular section right and then I will definitely be selecting random winners it'll be good right some good giveaways there so look how pretty that one looks and like I said we'll I'll put another textural embellishment on top of that star but I love this color and it's kind of into the woods right now let's layer the top guy with our little, I have to put the holes in that one too, don't I? And then the turquoise just ties in this turquoise, the green ties in that green. Okay, okay. But it is nice, right, that um, I do a lot all year. And it is nice to hear a little bit of feedback. And I'm going to tell you, um, hopefully it's positive. Because I don't know if I would put negative on a giveaway. Right? Send me a message for the stuff that you don't like. People still do the thumbs down and all that on, on these videos. I never understand it because I always look at it and go, if you don't like it, just go find some other content you like. I don't really understand when you're getting free content, why, um, unless it's offensive, why people feel the need to do like thumbs down and dislike stuff. My favorite that happened this year, which has never happened before, and it's just got to be through growth, is the um, negative thumbs downs that I've got on my classes. Like, so say you're in Discover and Create, that on some of those videos I have had thumbs down and I'm like, I don't understand that at all. I'd like to believe, I think we've talked about this before, that maybe it's an accident, like people just press the wrong button and I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> That's I'm gonna go with that. That's what it is. It's not that they think I suck. They just press the wrong button. You still say they're mistakes. I'd like to believe that. But there's a couple of them. So I have to think. I think with growth that comes that people just. I don't know. I, I I don't really understand it, but I would just I would just never do that. But we're all different. It's not even that I I don't even look at it and take it personally because I've been doing this for so long and I think you never I will never make everybody happy. I'm never gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I totally get that. I'm okay with that. I just don't know what purpose it serves, right? I don't know what purpose it serves. Yep. Why sign up for a class? Like, yeah, I agree. And then be mean to the instructor I don't get that but it takes all kinds of people right and you look at it and go well 
maybe there's something I didn't do well or could have done better, but I don't know what it is from that. That's not going to help me make it better. But it's never happened before. In all of the years I've been doing this, I've never had that before. That that was new. That's a new one. I don't know now. Maybe I just need the black. Let's look. Where I don't remember where I had those the hearts. Right? Where did I have it? Should I do one there and here? Like that? Maybe I'll just do, I'm just going to do the gold one and then I'll tie the black in with something else. Can I find a tiny attacher with staples in it? <laughs> that is a problem. I tell you, I have two tiny attachers. Oh, there they are. Do either one have staples? Yep. I think both of them were in a pencil case before. Couldn't find them, remember? On the last class, I couldn't find my tiny attacher, but now I know where it is. It's right here. And I'm gonna staple that to the border so it doesn't go right through the back. If I can get this under there, I did. There we go. Love it. Okay, there. And I will put a word on this one. I have to say, I don't like that. In black. I will tie this up here with black somehow. Cheers. Oh, I like that. Um, love that. So now, crap. I wish I would have done that first. So I wasn't covering my little guy. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna tiny attach the cheers. I like that. To the gingerbread man. There we go. And I will glue it. But I love that. Isn't that fun? I think that's fun. there. Okay. We have one page left and the back and the cover we didn't do. And I am going to embellish this and then I will just do a flip through of the finish. Because this is a 12 hour life. <laughs> it is almost 11 o'clock here. But I'm not going to lie. If I was not live with you, I would sit here and work on this. I don't know. How late do you guys scrap? So I have to take it off camera because I can't see. Um, do you guys stay up late and do your scrapbooking? I would stay up and keep scrapbooking. I absolutely love this one. So see, Oop. there we go. I will embellish something on here. I will probably put some kind of word up there. And then that is look at with the little gingerbread man. Cheers. I love that. The little cookie, cookie boy. Love it. Okay. Um, pink page. Take that, leave that there. So this one's intention is pink and blues. 
and some red. So this mat is going to go like this, right? And then we have the star, star, uh, snowflake Vicky. That is a snowflake. And then I have another one and believe. And then we have, these are the two little blue mats that are gonna go up top like that. And somehow the red is gonna go on here. I'm not sure yet. Maybe like that. We could staple bright to it. I love that. Look at staple bright and then get a snowflake in here somehow. Maybe there. Love it. And then that could go somewhere. Okay, let's just do it. Tie that in. Love it. Looks pretty. That blue. Very fun, right? Let, just going to staple that. I scrap until my husband is wondering if something has happened to me because I have been in my she shed for so long. <laughs> I love it, right? I don't, I, there's, I don't know. And what I have find a hard time is the people who've left the hobby. And I mean, card making, like if, so maybe you don't scrapbook as much because your kids are older and you don't have the photos or uh, life has changed. But my question would be is don't you miss being creative? Like, do you not miss that side? I don't know. Even if I didn't do this, I think I'd still... Um, Irene, it's in the uh, Vicky Booten Creative Community page or on my artist page, right? People are watching this on Facebook right now, so you might not see it right now, but it is on Facebook right now, right? Um, I still see you guys here on YouTube. Is anybody here on the Facebook link still? Thank you, Natalie. Natalie posted it there, Irene. Right? Because that gives you two chances to win. Well, multiple. You have four opportunities, right? Because there are going to be two giveaways on Facebook and here on YouTube. Just don't forget, uh, YouTube, don't post yet. You have to do it on the regular post, not on the live um, feed. There. Okay. That's the bottom one. I will embellish it for some more, but for right now, boop. And then I'm going to staple bright to this little piece of red. And these little mats. Thank you, Sheree. Um, I certainly do love what I do. I do, I and I thoroughly enjoy spending the time with everybody here live. Okay, so it you need to go to my artist page. That's where it is on Facebook because. Thank you, Irene. That is a good question. Um, it is on the Vicki Booten artist page is where this feed is on Facebook. It's on my artist page.
Vicki Booten artist page. That is where people are. I think, right? I think it's still happening. Oh, there you are. See, Antonia just posted on here. Love it. So there and there. I'm going to glue that down. Right there. Maybe there. Where do I want it at the top? Maybe at the top. Yes, I like it up there instead. I love that too, Lisa, right? The company while you're scrapbooking. Um, it is fun, right? Because not everybody, right? You guys often, sometimes you're here doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Sometimes you're here doing something else, like, right? Crocheting. But you like the company. I'm right there with you. I love that. Right here. Love it. This is too big to put, but let's see. Can I make that work? I can, and I'm going to put some kind of little subtitle on that. Because I do think it needs a little bit of, well, let's see. It's a mess! What's your desk look like while you're working? I ask you guys this all the time, because I'm like, is your desk a mess? Is it just my desk that's the mess? Or is your desk a mess too? I'm going to put this one here, maybe. This. this is the best part. This is the best part. No, I'm gonna I want that black on here. I'm gonna put that there. Like that. Love it. Okay, there we go. So we played with the blues and the reds, the pinks on here, the gold. It's way messier than mine, Serenity. <laughs> pigsty I'm telling you now last page oh my goodness look at that prettiness so what are we doing here the little snowman and red I wanted to go red here like that oh I gotta punch the holes see what that almost happened didn't it let's punch the holes I need to get up and clean my house tomorrow. That's what I'm doing. And lo lots of laundry. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put the finishing touches on this book. Because sometimes I'm, I will work much faster. Sometimes when I'm not having to do it live. Because creating live is not super easy, I have to say. Sometimes I might make it look like it's easy. But... Um, it's a process, right? Like sometimes you want to search for your stuff, but you don't want it to be boring because people are here watching. Um, but it could be boring. Do you know what I mean? It could be boring. So, um, this is going to be weird though, you know, right? When this album flips over, that page is going to be built upside down, but I'm going to go with it. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm just doing it. So the idea here, right, is that we got a little snowman. This photo might have to go like this. Yeah, I think so. And the joy is going to go on here like that. Cut a little piece. But you know where everything is in your mess, right? I love that. It's a mess, but I know where everything is in my mess. I love that. I'm going to keep this pretty simple back here because I just love, 
you don't have to do a ton when you have these mixed media backgrounds, right? It's so pretty. Why would you want to cover it all? I'm just happy Irene is here tonight. Lots of you guys are here chatting. It is definitely quieter than um, Friday night lives normally would be on Thursday night. But it's Christmas time, and I know that people are at different programs and are uh, wrapping and baking and cooking and and cleaning and shopping, Christmas parties, their kids' programs at school, right? So if you're watching after the fact, I hope you have a Merry Christmas or had a Merry Christmas if it's past tense, if you're watching after the holidays. For everybody that joined me live, I very much appreciated it. Could you imagine if I hadn't done all the prep work ahead of time? So it kind of gives you an idea of how much uh, work went into getting ready for this. Oh, I wanted to staple this onto the snowman. Because it's acetate, right? Every opportunity to boop, boop. Where are you, Tiny Attacher? There you are. I buried him. I love that. I don't feel like it needs, because you put your little photo underneath it. doesn't need a ton more, does it? Um, I might come back and do some more, but this is where we're at so far. We did not do the cover, though, did we? Didn't do the cover, but we know this frame is going on there for sure. I feel like Santa's going on mine. I want this little guy here. Got to put the big guy on the front. Oh, I love that. And then right into your album. It is such a feeling of accomplishment, right? Merry Christmas from New Zealand. Thank you, friend. So he's going to go like this. I just feel like he needs to be on here. But I do need some kind of title action on here. So Santa's going to go on here. And then I don't have a clue what else is going on here. Holiday Twinkle, I don't think is going to go on here now. A little bit of this red might go on here, maybe under it. Oh, that'll be pretty. Look at if I wanted to put just a very thin piece of that border on there. I'm not hating that. And then I will have to find a title. I don't think much more. I think I'll put some gems or something on there. But I do need a title on here. Christmas Magic. I love that. How about that? Right there. I really feel like that is cute. I'll put some glitter on his um, on his hat and on everywhere where there's fur. But I like that. And then I could put the year on there too, right? Whatever you want to do. But I am digging that. So I'll probably embellish a little bit more. You could, too. Um, you could make this a shaker. Like, put a film behind, put some beads in there, and Santa could be on the front of the shaker. I could do that, couldn't I? I could totally make that a shaker by putting the vellum, but I'm not going to go to all of that. Remember, I'm telling you, this year has to be simple, simple, simple. It's all I've got in me. So I could do that. Christmas magic with a little heart. I don't hate that, but I feel like it needs to be gold. But I do like this. That's getting glued on there. That is committed. That Christmas magic on there. Totally love that. Totally love it. And it pops up on that frame. So Christmas magic. It's going to go like that. Santa is going there because I like the red. 
with the green, very traditional. And then I will embellish the heck out of this somehow. I just got to search. It's going to be a little bit of a search. But we will figure that out. So things that I will do to finish this too is I will go through and I will um, layer stickers, put some more chipboard. I will put some gems. I will put some stickles. This will all be on these um, rings. And then I will also be finishing off because I brought over with me, right? Um, I have this charm. This is going to go on here, right? The other thing I brought that could be cute. Let's look. But I haven't used. Oh, look it. Oh, that needs to happen. Christmas magic. Look at, ooh, hopefully it's not too gluey glued because that's coming on after. It's okay that it ripped because I'm going to still cover it. But that layer of pom-pom on there will be awesome sauce. So let's put a piece of that. Let's put that on first. Under the frame. That's what I'm going to put it under the frame. If you were Vicky's double-sided tape, where would you be? Where would you be if you were her tape? There you would be. It's the last piece I have on here. So I'm going to glue that pom-pom to the back of my frame. Do, 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 do. Do they know it's Christmas time at all? Oh my goodness, do you remember when the that um, Christmas came out? The Feed the World one? And then sitting and trying to, oh, like which, which singer is going to be next? Oh, look it. What's his name? Paul. I loved him. What was his name? Boomtown Rats guy. But I remember... Um, Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. Do you remember him? I loved that one. To the pom-poms on the frame. So now, Christmas magic. Look how cute. It still works. Just got to move it up a bit. Paul Young, thank you very much. Oh my goodness, I loved him so much. Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. Dwa, 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 dwa. Anybody remember? Were you a Paul Young fan? I was very much so. But being a child of the 80s and 90s, that's what I did when I got my allowance, is I went to the record store. That was my thing. Oh, the pom-poms for the win. Pom-poms for the win. I went to the record store and bought whatever the latest 45 was, was my jam. George Michael, oh, 100%, and Wham. I wore the t-shirt, the Wake Me Up Before You Go Go t-shirt. Yes, I did. And uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Relax. I wore that t-shirt too. Relax, don't do it. Yeah, I did. I love the 80s. We were very um, lucky having such a... Unique fashion, music, 
Yeah, being a child of the 80s. Look how fun is that? There's some texture going on. The little red piece pulls in Santa. What else? Did I have anything else on there? Because I can commit that and then just decide what else I want to add. I want this to come down a little bit more. And Santa. Let's go like that. So let's commit this frame. Cindy Lauper, yes. You still have your Paul Young album? Are there any artists you don't like? I don't, I have a very wide <laughs> range of music tastes. I never was into heavy metal. That's not my thing. Um, other than, you know, I think didn't all of us had, did you have the ACDC? I don't even know which album it was, but. I don't want to offend anybody, but remember it had the Big Balls song on it. I had that album. And so I was not really into rock music per se, but I knew it because my brother loved the heavier stuff. And then the other brother was into like um, Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody and Gary Glitter and like a whole different range of music. But Back in Black, yeah. I did, I had that album. Oh, make this look kind of like a Christmas tree? Yeah, maybe, I'll, right? I'll have to, when I get down to the final embellishing, I did not put that red piece on yet. I, I don't know if I want it on there now. Maybe this one instead. I could totally do that, right? Could do that. The little Merry Christmas strip. Flag banner. Devin went bowling tonight. I love 10 pin bowling. I don't know why I'm never allowed to go hang out with her and her friends. <laughs> they do all the fun stuff that I like to do. So I just finished, Have has anybody, do you listen to Audible books? So when I'm working, oh, I think Simon's down here. I hear some craziness going on over there. I don't know how he got down here. But I just listened to one called Demon. It's And it's not a horror book. Demon, Demon Copperhead. Have you heard it? Demon Copperhead? Demon Copperhead? Demon. And it's not. It's about, uh, it's kind of like a take on David Copperfield, right? It's a take on like orphans. I think it's called Demon. Somebody look it up. That book was a phenomenal. And I read it because the reviews, it had a lot of really great. Demon Copperhead, it is the one. Did you read it or listen to it on Audible? It was so good. And if you like that one, give me some more book suggestions, right? And what was that one called? Evil Eye? You'll have to remind me because I will never remember these. You read it for the book club. It is an amazing book. And I'm very sad that it's done now because when I'm done with these books, I will miss the characters. Like now I need to, I will be sad to not have that character in my life anymore when the book is done, right? That's too high. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Did anybody read it and didn't enjoy it? Because probably some, right? Maybe you didn't like it. I really liked it. Demon Copperhead, right? Was that what it is? Yeah, I liked it a lot. So look at that little bit of red down there. I'm digging. I will have to secure some of that. The glue is not. And then I will still embellish it because I agree. Like it needs some gold, little gold stars or something up here.
you listen to the series, right? What genre is it? I don't I don't know. How would you explain it? It's about an orphan boy, and it is, like, loosely inspired by uh, David Copperfield. Um, it was, I don't know. I, I was engrossed. I would just, that's what I would say. I really enjoyed that book. I would stay up very late listening to it. Very good. The Heart's Invisible Furies. I think the audible uh, audio book was better. Honestly, I love the writing, but it wasn't my absolute fave, but still very good. It's sad, but understandable that you were engrossed. It is sad. It's sad. And part of it like made me mad because I'm like, dude, make better choices. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, though. It is sad. It is sad. But in the end, it is better. It was a good book. I don't even know how I found it. But um, I love audible books because I can work and I am entertained, right? I can't watch TV because I don't focus on my projects. I just downloaded another one of her books. I don't know what the other one is. Somebody will have to. I just downloaded another one. I haven't started it yet, though. Brenda. Um, I like that much, one so much that I downloaded another one. I found some really good authors through Audible that I probably never would have read. But I really, really enjoyed that. thought it was excellent. We'll see you later. So let's talk about what I did here. So you guys get, right, that... Um, I still have to embellish this some more. There are not enough layers in this for me, but let's see when we put it on our binding hook. I'll be able to get all of these pages on. Let's see. And then we'll do a quick flip. I really love the brightness and vividness of putting these on the gel plate prints, right? It is quite fun, I have to say. Ugh. Second, this hook is tight. Let's look at this sucker. Do you know what it's about? I don't know. I just downloaded it. I didn't even look. It just was on Audible. Um, I might have found it on Amazon and downloaded it. I will let you know, though. I love this. Do you guys like this? Did anybody at all make some gel plate prints? Is anybody doing some kind of version of this book? Because I know the time of year you're hanging out with me, but I bet you a ton of you are not doing this right now. But look at That is going to be very fun. Like I said, I still will embellish it, but look at how fun this little guy will be hanging on here with the red. Oh, and this is what I was telling you. Where did I put the stuff? But I grabbed, I don't know if it'll work, but I grabbed like, uh, see, I wanted to see if could I tie maybe like a yarn bow in here or will it look like poo poo? I don't know. We'll see. But I wanted to see would a yarn bow work. Because I have yarn. Maybe not. Let's look. Is it ugly? I don't think I like that. I say yes, that's ugly. I'm not going to put it on there. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not going to do it. That's okay, Irene. It will be here. And like I said, you do not have to do a Christmas one. One, a lot of you won't have any of this left because we used it all in class. Two, maybe you're not feeling Christmas this year. Don't do it. Three, 
Do what makes you happy. Oh, I forgot. I have a whole tray of stuff I pulled out. Hmm. I forgot. Look it. I might go through and use some of these Tim Holtz um, rub-ons, right? I have some. Oh, that'll work, right? I'll do something. Maybe I might even wrap a piece of twine around here. We'll see because of what's on the back. I don't know if I can. Probably not. But I have some snowflakes and some gold hoops. So I will probably add some of these in here as well. But um, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Some Tim Holtz stuff. Right? Some little of these uh, story sticks. I could hang some of that off of there. Add some metal. And then this guy will hang on there as well. And I will add some additional embellishment on here. But very fun, right? And maybe he'll go on the other side. Won't go on this side because it'd probably be better on that side. So let's take a look at what we made. It's a little flippy. This definitely needs more embellishing. I will be doing some more on this page. I just don't know what it's going to be because I could tie. I think I need to tie some of that blue in here, but right. Having a great time. Oh, look it. That will work. <laughs> I'm cutting it out. Having a great time. Somewhere on here. I do like that, but it needs some more. What do we have? We have lots of different things we could add. And then another little snowflake, and I think that would be very fun. Not a gold one, we need a black one. Not a gold one. Oh, we have the heart. Oh, yes. Your love is lifting me higher than I've ever been lifted before. I don't know where that came from. But it just appeared into my brain. What about the little present? The little, there was a little one around here, right? Of the pink present. Scale, no. That's like to have that. But there's going to be something that will embellish that edge. And I feel like a little mini star, but something with length like that, right? Would be good. And then I could even get part of that on top of it if I wanted to. Right. That. And then some, I like that. I'm going to leave that sit there. And then I feel like um, something else over there. And it might not be this. Right. Because I'm digging that. I'm going to glue that. I like it. I like it. Yes, I we need I need a to do a cat book now, right? Now that I'm a cat owner. Now that I own a cat. I love that freaking animal too, just so you know, if you were wondering, I am in love. I am in love with that cat. I'm in love with him and then I want to um spank him sometimes too but i have to remember but vicky he's just a cat he doesn't know when he's being a naughty little kitty cat he doesn't know he is a handful right i'm not sure you ever really own a cat that is true, true facts chris right 
they own me they own you yep i would have to say he's still a baby so he's pretty good but he is a funny little guy oh my he is a funny guy that cat the cat came back the very next day he is a little stinker he's eating the tree we put the tree up simon is eating the tree yes he is he is eating it i don't know not crawling on it whatever he walks up to it and starts gnawing on the tree i'm like dude that's gonna make you sick stop that you crazy and he looks at me and he gnaws on it a little bit more cats are always naughty we have six right yeah you will have to read chronicle of the traveling cat i will yeah he's a little stink butt so i glued that and then something else will get attached but i glued that and i don't even know if i want that there now but i said it was good but there's no gold down here friends what else could go there Oh, I have a star. Maybe. Remember, I was just so gung-ho. I don't hate that. What do you think? What do you think? Um, love that. I love that. And it's my page, so I can put it on there, right? I love that. See you later, Susan. It's 1127. Vicki, step away from the mini book. Step away from the mini book. I'll have to finish this later, but I like that. I will come and add more. Like something has to go here because that's a lot of um, blue going on right there. But a little heart. Wouldn't a little heart be cute there? Where are your little things, right? Like I'll find something, you know what I mean? Like a little heart, not a star, but I'll put a heart there. But I love that, that works for me with the little star, boop. And then we have this page, which just needs embellishing. I love most of this here. Sorry, friends. There, I think you can see more. Let's clear out some of our stuff now so you guys can see the bookie right love it oh i love this page too and then this guy needs some embellishing something has to go on here see like something We'll add something in there. Um, I love that one. Right? With the little gingerbread man. Oh, I could put a heart on the star down here. But I feel like it need to go on this side. So, but something has to go on top of that because you can see the adhesive. And then this one I love, just some embellishing, and it will be done. And then the snowman. Very fun, right? So I will do a flip through and post it. I will embellish it a little bit more, but I am beyond happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun on our 12-hour Thursday Night Live party celebration. Let me flip the camera. So 155 of you are still here between the two platforms. So thank you for sticking around for as long as you guys did. I very much appreciate it, right? I, I love how that turned out. I have to say that, right? Um, wasn't super happy with the first prints because I thought there were too much going on and I wanted to keep them as art prints. And then when I flipping the camera but i have to adjust everything here we go hi uh love how that turned out very happy with that right very happy with this 
It is very cute. Very cute. See how I felt I needed to squat down? And it is a very bright, isn't it? Very bright project. But I will add some more embellishments. Hopefully I can even find some pictures and I will um, do something with that later. But in case it wasn't shown up so well, the gingerbread man, he's so cute. And the gold, right? Very fun. Um, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did the whole process of it was a more laid back this year with our uh, Christmas crafting. We did the uh, hand painted wreath, which was fun and made a layout and card and a tag out of that. We did the gel plate printing and then turned it into a flip book. And like I said, if you don't celebrate Christmas or don't feel like doing anything with Christmas, just use the inspiration to create something else. You could really make this kind of tag book out of anything. And I, it actually has inspired me that I feel like one of my collections needs to be very gel plate inspired for our papers. Like I need to do a whole bunch of prints, send them off and have all of our embellishments and everything, the texture in the background from all from gel plate prints. I think it would be fun. Don't forget about the giveaway. So if you are watching on Facebook or not, you want to go visit there as well on my artist page. So Vicki Booten artist page and leave a comment on this video when it's done um, that just tell me something that um, just tell me something that I did well this year that you enjoyed or um, why you like watching the videos, what you're doing for Christmas, but put giveaway in your comment. Giveaway needs to go in your comment on Facebook. And then I'm gonna randomly select two winners from the Facebook page. And then when this video is done, under the regular section of comments, uh, underneath this video, underneath me here, you will leave a comment on that. Um, again, same things. And I'm gonna choose randomly choose two winners for that. A $100 gift certificate to vickybooten.com. And then I'm going to mail out a special uh, box of a whole bunch of favorite things so I'm going to do two of those as well so one of each on Facebook and on YouTube so make sure you leave a comment there um, thank you for a wonderful 2023 and just spending time doing uh, what we love the best connecting creating laughing uh, feeling the community support has just been mind-blowing i hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday season whatever you celebrate um, just have time with the people you love your pets do something special for yourself and i will see you in january i won't be back again until january i'll be telling you about my latest travels and we'll be talking about all the plans i have for next year i have already started planning out um, my first of the 10 plus layout classes so that one if you love just layouts that one is going to be with a very um, masculine vibe yet there are florals and stuff in it so for some of you guys that want something that is a little bit darker you will love that one and uh, lots of stuff coming down the pipeline going to be lots of plans for our Friday night lives uh, which will start up again in the new year. Um, I guess the third week or second week, maybe third week or second week of January. I don't know yet. I'm just taking a break and I need it. So I will see you guys later. Uh, again, a huge thank you to Natalie um, and the rest of my design team, uh, Natalie, Nicole, oh my goodness, Sierra Lise and Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for creating some amazing art this year. You are uh, so much appreciated. I hope um, all of you have a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you in 2024. Thanks, friends. Don't forget to leave your comments for a chance to win. We'll see you later. Bye.